Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the universe. This is Captain Swifty, the ineffectual gamer, and this is Microsoft Flight Simulator, and continuing the circumnavigation of the globe here. And this is day five. If I do, if I if I remember right, it's day five. I really can't remember, but welcome in and it's good to have you so let's see everybody's lovely faces including mine hello oi what's happened there why have we, why has it done that ah because i've clicked the wrong blooming button can't do anything right can't do anything right that's all it's unfair it's unfair i always balls it up okay so it looks like the stream's running on uh youtube just going over to twitch now and having a look at it on twitch and it's running on twitch Twitch. Yep, running on Twitch. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to completely close down my my internet, and because I can see that I am now running um, on OBS, I'm going to close that preview down as well. So today we are in Senegal. So we've started off here in Spain, just above Barcelona, and we've come all the way down here, um, and we are currently in Senegal. Uh, I've set the wrong thing here. I shouldn't be in the runway. I should be at a ramp. Please don't reset my whole thing because it took me a long time to plot this course. Right, okay, so this, this is what we're doing. Here we are in Senegal. At Plaza Diagne Airport. I don't know why it's making that noise when you hover over an airport. Only that airport, so that's okay. Um, and look at the flight conditions. We're going to have some interesting flight conditions today. And hopefully it's not going to be totally cloudy because this area of uh, Guinea-Bissau, or Guinea-Bissau, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, is supposed to be really nice, so I really wanted a good look at that. And then we're going to go into actual Guinea um, and land at Conakry, I think, is the, the name of the airport. Jibisia. And that's the flight plan for today. So we'll be getting as high as 31,000 feet at some times, at some point, sorry. And uh, and we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm still, 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 still in two minds of how I want to go about this. So I've been thinking about jumping over to South America. Um, so when I get to the bottom of Africa, jumping over to South America. But I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go, uh, as originally planned, up through Africa, through the Asias, through the Southeast Asias, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and then back up the the Asian coast, the, the Eastern Asian coast, all the way up to Russia in the north. And then cross over into Alaska, down through Canada, and then into Western US, where I'll be doing much. I'll be staying for much longer because I'll be doing a lot of different things around there. Then going to um, Mexico, then South America, down the West Coast, then come up the East Coast of South America, over to Havana, and then uh, and then do the East Coast of America before going to Canada and then working my way back over to Europe. So, um, no, it's not that type of ramp. So, that that is the plan now, I think. Because I'm trying to, I was trying to work out if I jump over to South America, it's going to be really difficult to plot. I could have gone over to the Bahamas and then gone down and then gone up and I could have probably made it work, but... No, I just think this route's going to... So it's going to take a lot lot longer to get to America, but which is the one place I was really looking forward to getting. So, strange thing was, it said the weather was stormy, but there are no storms in sight. So I don't know if that was just an issue with the game, whether it's read something wrong. Uh, we will have a look at that. So first thing I'm going to do, because that will be set to comms automatic, I'm going to take that away for a second. I'm just going to go up to the weather, make sure it's live. It is live, so I don't know what, why it was saying there was heavy storms when there isn't, unfortunately. 
I was looking forward to some heavy storms, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's start up the engines and let's get this thing underway. Okay, so I'm gonna go push up the crash bar, generator on, and battery. Okay, we'll get our we'll get our approval to go. I knew that putting the thing on this side was going to be an issue for me. I need to reposition my TV just slightly, so I apologise for me dancing around on the screen, but that's what it's going to do. Ground in effectual gamer niner seven IFR to Conakry ready to copy. In effectual gamer niner seven is clear to Conakry Airport as filed. Take off runway ONE climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Departure frequency is ONE 20 decimal 5 squawk 0271. Okay, so I'll let you know that. Ineffectual Gamer 9 or 7 cleared so to Conakry we'll Airport is well. as filed. Take off runway 1 climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Departure on 120 decimal 5 Make sure I don't forget to put that on. How are you doing today, Elska? Uh, you had a good morning? So he said uh, 13,000 feet, didn't he? So we'll get that set. Now, we were talking last night about me maybe switching to the citation, but it's bugged. It's bugged as hell. And um, I managed to get everything done. I did a test flight this morning uh, in Salt Lake City, so I did like a, a climb out bit of cruise and then descent back into Salt Lake City came in very well using all the correct speeds flaps and everything but touched down just too hard and bounced and there's no real reason for it so I don't know if that's me just not used to flying in those jets and maybe you have to just land in a different way but I mean the touchdown speed isn't that fast but it, it was it's really bouncy and I don't know if it is me then I'm making mistakes that uh, I don't know why I make those mistakes. So we'll go 1,500, not 1,600. Okay, other thing we want to do is want to check the barometric pressure was uh, right. So what did they say? Uh, climb maintained 13,000. Okay, uh, climb maintained 13,000 feet. The power pressure is 105. Okay, so it didn't give us a barometer. The barometric pressure. Why didn't it do that? Try it on the ATIS, see if the ATIS tells us. There's no ATIS? Okay, this is good. So, I'll use the cheat. I'll use the cheat button because I can't get it. So, it's actually 29.84, as we can see there. Okay, so that's that so we are pretty much set to go here so we're gonna request a pushback I'm just gonna check outside where the pushback is uh, no we're not set I need nav and uh, might be better if I have the R damper set for when we go to autopilot okay so we've got a fair amount of space here I think because I know we're not gonna taxi to that building I'm gonna ask for a pushback to uh, the right at some point so I'm gonna ask him to start the pushback and then I'll request him to go to the right because I think that'll line us up quite well so uh, ground services request pushback ground in effectual gamer niner seven requesting pushback in effectual gamer niner seven pushback request accepted call me gamma there <laughs> in effectual gamma Oh crap, I, I, do you know what, I need to write down what left and right pushbacks are. I think I'm requesting a pushback to the right here. I can't remember if it goes from this vision to the right, or whether it's my right as the pilot. So, I want to go to my right. <laughs> Which would be the wrong way for us. So. I don't know if it's supposed to be from here, but his point on mine. What should we do? Stay to the left, stay to the right. I'm going to mess it up anyway. I need to put post-it notes. And you know what? I will actually pay attention today. So we'll take off the parking brakes so he can start the pushback. 
Uh, my left. So I'm going to ask for my left. Ground in effectual gamer night. Let's see if he does it. Requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Yay! Okay, so it's my from my seating position. Okay, now it's hard to get this right because if they keep pushing. So that is pretty much in a line. Uh, could have probably gone back to that yellow line, to be honest. It would have been better and done it that way. But that's not a bad position to start the taxi. So let's start the engines up. So. I can't remember if that's supposed to be on. I think ignition is supposed to just be set to on. Fuel selector on. Okay, we should have put the nav and strobe on. I forgot about that first. Um. Put the air bleed on. Take off the. Uh, that. Take off that. Don't like seeing them. Put the throttle into the middle mode. Oh, it's hard to do it, actually. Okay. So, pit hot heat. Turn the insert. Seb. Okay. Should actually have my parking brakes on at this point. I forgot to reset them. Okay, and the ignition now needs to go to auto. Okay, that should clear the cast off. The inert set will probably come back on, I think. I think it does. Okay, just one one other step to change here, which is the old... Uh, whoop, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, settings, wind, option three, home. Okay, and we're pretty much ready to go now. So I'm going to scooch back over in my seat. Okay, I'm going to just knock it up slightly so I can see the nose. There we go. Just like the nose to be on my horizon. We've got another plane starting up there. That's why the name pops up on there. Normally when they start their engines up. Okay, so we can now request taxi. So we'll go to clearance. And request a taxi to the Ground IFR. Gamer with alpha ready to taxi IFR. Oh, I've been signed out of restream chat. What happened there? In effectual Gamer Niner 7 taxi to an hold short of runway ONE via taxiway Papa Charlie Charlie 7. Contact tower on 118 decimal 8 when ready. Can't acknowledge that taxi, taxi clearance. Taxi to hold short runway 1 using taxiway Papa Charlie Charlie 7 in effectual Gamer Niner 7. Okay, so we are ready to taxi now, and we will get ourselves underway. So we'll be first heading down to the Gambia, or to Gambia, then Guinea-Bissau. So Gambia is actually so small, we probably won't see it. It is actually where the desert ends and the forest starts, so we'll, we will see, well, where the green starts. Whoops, sorry. Where the greenery starts. So let me just get lined up and comfortable here with my zoom. Okay, we need to set that to FMS. Okay, let's mark back up there. Okay, I can't remember wh how, which zoom I like, and we are going slightly too fast on this taxi. Okay, and it's a little bit of a long taxi this, 1.89 nautical miles, because I didn't choose uh, I didn't choose a parking by map, I just chose a parking, so I didn't know where it was. <laughs> Turns out bloody miles away from the from the runway, but we'll be all right. We'll get there. We'll get there.
Just give me one second, I'm just gonna make sure that uh, this is in my Discord. Whee! I don't know why we go offline actually, it shouldn't do that. Uh, share, copy link, Discord. Let's keep her in line, shall we? So yeah, the citation doesn't work, so the only other plane which really you can get a decent hold of is the A320, but the A320 is not a sightseeing plane, and I want to do a series with the A320, a passenger series, so, um, and I actually wanted to do it with a citation as well, but it just looks like it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to work at the moment, so... Now I can concentrate. Okay, so, slowing down a bit there. Let's put our flaps down. Our first flaps for takeoff. We are set for 13,000, 1,500 feet per minute vertical speed. The yaw damper is set. We're on FMS. We didn't set the taxi lights because I'm an absolute noodle and I don't know why I keep remembering, forgetting them because I'm remembering them. So it's because you know what it is because I don't I don't do a pre um, I don't do a pre taxi te check so maybe I should start doing the checklist and everything just to make sure I'm doing it all in the correct way so we can speed up a little bit here our our taxi speeds next to nothing here what is it nine kilometer uh, nine knots. Well, that Dal one's general aviation, it says, but it looks like nothing but big jets over there, so... Um, okay, so we're about halfway to the taxi, and we are taxiing a bit faster, so it's slightly too fast there. Just pull back on the engines a little bit. Did we land in the dark here yesterday? I can't remember. I think we might have. Don't mind landing in the dark. Now, we're going to try using the approach hold button again, uh, the, the approach hold again today, um, if it's available. If it, I think it is a set in the FMC, so um, if that's possible. I was con considering trying the flight level change as well, but I'm going to be honest with you, I prefer doing the virtual speed. If the flight level change worked kind of automatically, i.e. you click it, it starts a climb but tries to keep the same speed, but you seem to have to point, sp go to speed, and then is it then click it, no, no, click it, then go, Delta is clear it, to Lagos it's a bit weird, doesn't Take feel right. Okay, so we're almost at the uh, almost at the runway here. Other people asking for cl uh, clearance to to go as well. So I think what the actual sim does is it loads the yeah it 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 seems to load in flights as you arrive. So it, it was similar in Flight Simulator X. So. It wouldn't load um, 
planes on, that were active on the taxiways and stuff, it would just load them all into the parking spots and then and then they'd kind of start they'd start to get going. What you can do to if you want some real real air traffic in your airport, you can simply load load it into the into your parking spot, your gate, whatever, and then just leave the simulator to running for 20, 30 minutes. Come back, and you'll generally have quite a busy airport. Um, I'm guessing it's an issue of loading stuff in on the taxiways and stuff that might be just about to land or just about to take off. It just might mess with the simulator. It's very hard to kind of simulate that part of it. But you will notice sometimes if you kind of get up and go out, even at the busiest airports, it doesn't seem like there's that many planes actually taxiing and stuff. And that's what, well, that used to be the, the reason why in uh, Flight Simulator X. Right, so we are almost ready to take off. We're going to go to the th takeoff uh, threshold and then we'll radio the tower and ask for clearance. And then we'll hand over to our co pilot for the, to do the radios for the rest of the flight. Uh, I'll just listen out for altitude changes and things like that, so altitude and speed changes. <coughs> one-way threshold. Request takeoff. Tower ineffectual gamer niner seven ready to go runway one IFR to Conagree. Ineffectual gamer niner seven cleared for takeoff runway one. Cleared for takeoff runway one ineffectual gamer niner seven. when you start doing correct procedures and forgetting about your old your old habits <laughs> old habits And we are going to depart straight out. Up. Okay, and we are up and away. Now I should have probably flown the runway heading a little bit more there, but we're in Africa. We're in Africa. It's quite a nice airport actually. Never got to see it in the daytime yesterday. That's where we were parked. So yeah, essentially we shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be doing it like this, but. Okay, so we are climbing. 
Yep, we're climbing at the rate of 1,550 feet per minute. Just checking the engines and everything to make sure we're, we're not on... We're not talking the hell out of it. We're not. I'm trying to get that right a bit more these days as well. You can go to full power, uh, but after you get a positive climb rate and you're at positive speed, you've got to try and keep your torque back so you don't burn the engine, the engines out. But um, oh, that was good. Good takeoff. Normally, you would fly the runway head until you get permission to. Uh, I think it's your first first permission to continue. I can't remember now. Let me just have a look at what she said. Yeah, where she says there, uh, ineffectual gamer, the car centre continue as planned, and normally that's when you can start making your turn and stuff. So, so we're going to fly along the coast basically today. Um, we will. Oh, you can see there's a main highway down there that we're passing over. A lot of busy traffic as we head towards the Gambia. We'll know roughly more or less when we're arriving at Ga the Gambia because we'll see, a veget we'll see a massive vegetation change. It'll go from... Oh, there's a track down there. Did we see that last night? I have a feeling we saw that track last night or I saw it on the map or something. Um, yeah, we'll see a vegetation change. There's going to be a big river by the looks of it. Um, that will pass as we... Uh, and then just south of the river, a couple of nautical miles will pass into uh, Gambia. And then we actually return back into Senegal. Then to Guinea-Bissau. And down the coast to Guinea where we'll, we'll make our first stop off and see uh, see what that's like. I was thinking of heading actually further down before making the first uh, stop off, but I was just wanted to see roughly how this flight was, and then the second one will do another stop, I think, and then there'll be a final stop in Nigeria. Oh, so we've got some clouds today. It's looking out. Not huge amounts, but if you look out here, it's kind of where we're going. There is a build up of clouds there, so. Who knows? Who knows what we might experience as we go out there? So altimeter two nine eight four. Just make sure we are. Yeah, we're two nine eight four. Um, it's a little bit windy. Sixteen knots tailwind. So that'll get the, that'll get us there a bit faster. have to watch the engines a little bit now because we are we are at 99 percent just make sure that doesn't start flashing if it starts flashing we just pull it back a bit but no clouds over the sea but clouds to our to our east and south Okay, so let's have a quick look at our flight plan. Just want to get an idea of how far this is. It is actually good. It is actually quite a long way. Now, once we get to thirteen thousand feet, we'll get clearance anywhere up to thirty-one, depending. But for the first part, when we until we fly over Guinea-Bissau, I didn't really want to go that high, but. Um, Bissau, I think, not Guinea Bissau. Guinea Bissau. We'll see. We will see. Uh, yeah, it does open as the VFR map. Weather is live. Time's live. No? Is the time live? Must be. Okay, some nice views already. And we're only at 9,000 feet. There we 
got a lot of clouds down there. Might be flying into bad weather. But you can see the greener uh, areas coming up. So you can actually see that this, we've gone from almost desert just back here and it's starting to get much greener now. We're seeing greener patches and whatnot. Sounds quite windy outside, but is that 28 knots there? Yeah, 29 knot crosswind here. I'm not sure if that's an error or not. But we'll see. So passing 10,000 we should get permission to to go up again. As I said around 13,000. As I said I wish I knew the maximum climb rate on this aeroplane but I've not been able to find it anywhere. Um, I know that like a Cessna Citation can go at, I think it's anywhere up to 3,000 feet per minute, so I wouldn't be surprised if this could do something around that as well. Just pull the top back a little bit. Um, but I don't know, and I don't kind of want to go crazy with it. And just because it can do it doesn't mean you should do it, because you're kind of trying to get the payoff between speed and speed and altitude. So well the waters are looking nicer starting to look a bit more tropical aren't they that a bit greener. Climb and maintain flight level two one zero in effectual gamer niner seven. Two one zero. Try and make this a little bit bigger so I can see some more of the information. Okay. Okay, so going to flight level 210 now. And now we're really starting to see some, some colour come in. The rivers look a little bit more lively down here. marvelling at this aeroplane because I absolutely love it. When I first tried it I hated it. Absolutely hated it. And now I love it. It's great. Okay so we're passing kind of like the tree like area. Okay. That's wonderful down there, that looks great.
absolutely wonderful. And you're just seeing like the change, uh, the change in vegetation, everything just it, it's just beyond what you expect. Okay, so we're passing through 17,000. As I said, we're probably going to get permission to anywhere as high as 31,000 today um, in this first leg of the trip. You know, you wonder about some of these countries like Senegal, which don't have very... Like, they're not they're not the richest countries in the world but places like this could have serious serious look tourist industry I mean look at these beaches how long they are how green and, and, and lush the water is you'd think they'd jump on that tourism bandwagon wouldn't you such a waste of an area. I'm trying to see what this is here actually. Let me just adjust a little bit. I'm trying to see what this is here. I can't quite work out what it is. I'm sorry I haven't been replying. I haven't seen some of your messages. They, have, they haven't shown up in my restream chat for some reason. I'm just reloading it now. Can you do a test, a test chat, please? For me. I've just seen the part about uh, vampires. Wild boar is very good eating. Two nine zero now. So I'll go up to two nine zero. I've had wild boar a couple of times. I absolutely adore it. Especially if you leave it in wine overnight, you know, break uh, break down all those uh, proteins. So I don't know. Ah, okay, so we can see what this is now. Look at these waters, they're beautiful. Now, this part this part of the trip, to be honest, th there hasn't been... Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, it's up and running now. It logged out for some reason, and then when it logged back in, it wasn't picking up any of your messages. But now, now I can see it. Don't forget to leave a like today, people, if you're watching. It's mucho apreciado. Let's see, Chrome. That is Spanish for much apreciado. <laughs> right, just been stupid. This is lovely. It's not my vampire eyes, because you watch on a on a big screen and you're away. You have to. You have to get up. You have to sit up closer. That's what you've got to do. Uh, let's put up the. We're in Central Africa and it's getting hot, so let's put up the. Uh, let's put up the air conditioning for the passengers and myself. So we're flying over a lot more cloud now, which is cool. Just making sure that we are in live weather. 
In actuality, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cl put clear skies. Whoa! But I'm going to click live now. Oh, it won't let me. Live weather. <laughs> I don't know why it throws you around like that when it loads in the live weather. Okay, the live weather looks okay. So we've got some nice cloud up here as well. We've really not flown in bad weather conditions as of yet. Uh, I did obviously simulate some in the other night, but I would love to do some flights in in uh, in more challenging weather. We had a challenging landing the other day with a crosswind, but um, I have to get used to using this pen. I'm trying to use this pen because it's it's actually a bit easier than okay. So, okay, we're just talking the engines a little bit, so I just want to check that. So it's not that I've got vampire eyes, I say look, here, look at this, this is what I'm looking at right now. That's what we're always trying to do. So at 25,000, uh, climb maintain flight level 290, yeah, okay. And then, I suspect we're going to get clearance to 31 today. Look at this, this is beautiful. Oh, what's this island called here? Didn't know there was an island here. Oh, there's a few islands over there, actually. Or is that... Oh, no, that might not be an island, actually. That might be where the river inlet is. Wow. Yes, it is. So this is a river inlet, so why are we flying over that river inlet when we're supposed to be flying kind of down the coast? Ah, okay, because it, cause it tucks in. Okay. Now look here, because there's a lot of mountain range here. But we won't be going there, unfortunately. Well, we might go close to it, actually. In the second leg. We shall have to see. Okay, so I'm going to go back in cockpit because I'm sure we're going to get a 2,000 feet clearance to keep going any time now. So we pass at 28,000 feet. And you can see that on your overhead display in this part. Or is it down? I can't remember. No, it's across, isn't it? Oh, crap. I think it's that direction. <laughs> I don't know. Talk it up slightly. Look, the talk's at 9-7. There you go. How's that for chance? Okay, so that should be our final, um, our final ascent. So yeah, I mean, look at how much this has changed in just a few minutes. Here we still have remnants of the, uh, oh god, look at that. That's where it's not mapped it very well. We've still got remnants. But once you get over this river, around here, it starts to just get green. Very, very, very green. You're looking down, like here at this city here. I'm guessing it's a city. Can't do it in that mode. We have to do it in our old. Uh, the only thing is, I can't zoom in with this one. So. Try and see if you could hear the wind. You can. That is so cool. Listening to the wind. I quite like that actually as a as a as a drone cam view. 
this looks better. Okay, so we're at pretty much at 31,000 feet. We're at uh, 3,990. We can now probably push the engines a little harder. Because we're not climbing anymore, so... That'll help us to pick some speed back up, because we've slowed right down. Trying to pick it up, so... Okay, so the barometric pressure is actually 2992, but we weren't to, told to change that. Seems to be an issue in the game. I don't mind using the cheat key. I mean, I don't need to change it if she said anyway. So, but it looks like we're on 2992 now. Just look at these waters. All turquoise, green, lush green, sand everywhere. Really, really nice. So it's uh, it's quite weird starting to see um, starting to see how far away we're getting from Spain now. Oh, maybe if I do it on that, it's just looking for that river in that. There we go. Yeah. So as I said, it gets greener over here. And we're kind of almost passing into, um, should be probably passing into the Gambia now. We should be in Gambia, I think. Yeah, no, we're in Gambia now. So we're in Gambia. Then, kind of once you're over that river, you're back into Senegal again. So, sorry, we are in Gambia. So Gambia is kind of out, oh, and we're just passing into Senegal now. This this uh, grey line is Senegal again. So we're passing into Senegal. A lot of time. So we're already halfway there. Obviously, one once you get up to no, we're not. <laughs> I saw the airport. Assumed we're a third of the way there. I think. Maybe maybe a little bit less, but now we're at thirty-one thousand feet. It'll be much faster uh, getting there. So, whoa! Didn't mean to do that. Do that with my mouse wheel, don't I? So we're away from the desert again. We will come back into a deserted area as we arrive further down in the south of Africa. So I do like how we kind of took off from clear skies. And obviously as we come over a greener area, it's going to be a lot more humidity, so the clouds are starting to form. And I think that's pretty cool to see it kind of changing like that. And it's just scattered clouds. I thought we were going to start the game in a thunderstorm. But you never know when we get to Nigeria. You never know. One of the things I'd love for it to tell us in this game is the ground temperature and stuff. I think maybe if we tune to an ATIS somewhere we, we might get some of that information. Um, I don't know exactly how you do it in this. Well, would you jump over to COM2? Ah, okay. So yeah, I can, I can probably do that. If I knew the ATIS. I didn't realise you can have two comm stations open, so for example, uh, bum, 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 bum. wondering how I do this. Give me a second to work it out. You can set a second comm, and I know you can set it in here. What? And I knocked the pitch trim there. Um, settling down again, just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to go in a nosedive. So if we go to uh, nav source one two FM ah I never knew about that 
I don't know what that does if I'm changing that around but anyway so uh, PDF settings no uh, go I want to turn off the angle of attack actually it's completely irrelevant for me at the moment so MFD navcom okay so yeah we can go you can change it here if you see here com2 whoop didn't mean to do that audio and radio so I would set com2 here and then I would set it to whatever I wanted it to be and I could tune into it and get the ATIS information that way ATIS normally gives you kind of the runways that you're landing on and things like that um, the game generally does quite a good job of putting you on the correct runways whether it whether well I don't think it does link up with anything in real life like a, a website or anything because as far as I know there is no website that lists all airports um, landing in landing and takeoff runways a lot of flight enthusiasts just say to watch flight radar and you can generally see which, which uh, runways after a few minutes you can see which runways are in use but that's only if uh, it's a busy airport I suppose if it's not a busy airport then you're not going to see uh, people people landing too often so other things that I've never really tri played about with too much on here um, we can change the map range here down or up but that seems a bit pointless but it's alright I, I guess but it doesn't show that then we have PDF map, map settings but it doesn't seem to do anything in there uh, this one is GOBD I'm wondering if that's our next waypoint now that's interesting because I've never been paying attention GOBD GOBD so look no ah D18 hang on yeah that might be it actually the D not the GOBD the D1861 okay yeah so this is our distance to our next marker. Now I wasn't aware of that because I don't normally take that much um, notice of this so now I know now I know and in order to know if we're kind of on time and stuff you can actually go into here um, can't remember FMD or what uh, no not must be on that one Ah, time is there. So I can would count up. I can start my timer just to make sure I'm doing my 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 legs in in time. So, for example, go into the nav here. From here to here should be 29 minutes 16 seconds, more or less. So when I arrive here, I'm actually going to start my clock and we'll see if we do it in 29 minutes it says. We can actually afford to put the engines up a little bit as well, I didn't notice that. Don't go over... Give me a second... There you go. Okay, that's probably about as good as we're going to get these engines at. Because I was making minuscule adjustments there to the... Uh, to the throttle. So we'll see if that gets us. Uh, the traffic inset doesn't seem to work. OBS I don't think works. Sensors I don't know. Weather controls. I don't know if some of them are actually on the second page. Oh it is? Oh crap. Hang on a second Ella's go. What I'll do is I'll jump off restream chat and I'll go into YouTube chat just give us a second I don't know what the issue is there I really don't just give us a second mate
Oh, and I can't bloody do it on a side. It should be able to do it on a side, but you can't, can you? Because it's YouTube. That'd be too easy. Okay, green water is... Uh, well, yeah, it looks nice. But green seawater? No. Green seawater wouldn't be the same, would it? It just means that... The Normally in the sunnier places you just have greener seawater, don't you? So have a look at this. This is fantastic. Now lots of beautiful lush green land here. Lots and lots and lots of it. So yeah, unfortunately on here there is no uh, things to change settings. But it does give you a fair bit of information. It gives you your flaps in your amp flap information, your elevator trim, your rudder trim, stuff like that, so it does give you a bit of information on there. This gives you your heading. Um, I don't know if on the PDF I can actually change some of that stuff, because you really don't need these two headings here. They're absolutely, for me, uh, they're, they're not needed at all. So I did want to see if I can uh, kind of angle the chat. Com channel. Nope, don't need that one. Bearing one. Ah, hang on a minute. Yes, here. F off. No. I wonder what that one's all about. <laughs> I really do. Uh, let's have a look. Bearing nav one, nav two, GPS, ADF, off. Off. ADF, off. Just seems to change something in there, but I don't, I don't see what it's changing that much. Uh, map settings, weather. Oh, I do like the, this. This one shows the weather. But it's not always great. Uh, oh, does that change on that screen as well? No. Okay. Oh! How have I managed that? What have I done here? Oh! Hang on a second, what is that? Oh, it's so you can control the map, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, back. Okay, that goes back to live. Well, you live and learn, don't you? I'm loving this. <laughs> Learning a bit more about my... Uh, Learning a bit more about my uh, cockpit controls here, and it's oh, hang on. If that's anything to go by, we're completely off course here, and that might be because of me pressing all the nav buttons and stuff. We certainly are. Right, what have we, what have we done that's wrong here? What have we done that's right? This is because I was messing about. Right, so, because uh, we're way off course here. Way off course. Right, what have I done? <laughs> I don't think anything in the MFS can... MF MFS can change that, can it? Oh dear. Ah, I've switched the nav off, that's what it is. Look, the nav's off. So we'll make the turn here and we'll get back on course. Now, I don't know how I accidentally switched that off, but I won't be touching anything again and we won't be touching it off again. So you can see uh, on the panel here we've got some weather conditions coming in. I don't know if there is a kind of a chart for what that means. For what I'm guessing green means soft, red means hard. I didn't didn't expect it to kind of be that pixelated and ugly. But that might be because I'm I'm tuned in too too far, I don't know. Oh okay. So that's we get it that way. Ah, that's a flight level one. Okay, that's pretty cool. And that's the standard one. Okay. So we're a little bit off path, but 
mean, not the end of the world. Just don't know how the nav, how the how the nav got knocked off. Just look at how beautiful this is. This is great. And these clouds get much better. You can see them casting shadows. <laughs> no. Can you imagine me on a rocket to the moon? <laughs> What's this do? Eject, eject, eject. Um, you can see the casting shadows on the ground below them. Uh, here in particular, so they do look like they're building up and they look really nice. They look really nice. So I'm guessing, like, I'm guessing, yeah, it looks really, really nice here. This is so cool. I've just not flown in these conditions before. You can see some high level cloud as well. I just like that. But yeah, I really, really, really do have to stop just pressing things and look, mommy. Um, yeah, I really have to stop doing that. But it's not actually taken us, although we were actually quite a way off course, we were generally just going straight anyway, so I don't think it's really affected our our flight that much. Okay, so there's a turn into the approach, and then there's like a step. Okay. Okay, so it'll be on the hard step that we start to bring the gear down. Okay. So we have got some w bad weather around us, by the looks of it. I don't know why it's pixelated like that. I don't think in reality it does do it like that. I have a feeling that's just a, an issue with the game. Because if you look at it here, it's not showing anything in front of us. But that might be because of where we are. The flight level it does, it shows it down here, and it looks a lot better. But, um... Yeah. And of course you could turn that weather off as well. I really don't know what I pressed that took us off the nav though, Ellis Guy, that's the thing. I was wondering if it was, uh... If it was when I clicked on these ones, but I can't imagine it... I can't imagine it does this, nothing on here should control anything on here. Nothing at all. Um, the only thing I can think of is if I was holding down the middle button or something and I accidentally clicked on it. That does happen sometimes, but you normally hear a click in the cabin. So... You normally hear a click in the cabin, so it's like you, you realise you've done. You realise you've done it. Okay, I'm making one more turn now to get back on the uh, on the nav. I said before making turns at this uh, height and speed, you're probably not the best thing for the plane, but it happens. So you see how nice and tropical it's getting over here now. Look at this. Look at how, look at how green this water is. I just love how the, the the clouds cast shadows and stuff. It's craziness. This game is so cool sometimes. Unfortunately, the zoom doesn't work on the zo on the drone cam the same way as it does. Well, uh... right. So, if I'm right, which I think I am, we're now passing Guinea Bissau. Bissau, sorry.
and so these waters are only actually green here if you just go a bit further out into the Atlantic there just even a small amount it'll go like a blue like this river this river down here you see how all green this is here these water inlets because this this is the computer generated water and this was taken from the satellite imagery so I'm assuming that the rivers and everything are the same color as this here must be a beautiful place you can see I think that is a satellite image again it's not the computer generated river so this is the correct colors so yeah all of this would be green here um, kind of spoils it a little bit but not a huge amount see even this little island's got its own little lagoon on it there some nice beaches here so yeah another place where you'd think it'd be ripe for some tourism or something but a lot of these countries are not looked after very well so I think we're gonna start making the yeah we'll start we'll make a slight turn and then it'll be pretty much straight until we we're on final are we gonna be passing some mountains here we might be passing some mountains here maybe not huge mountains but they they are mountains nonetheless uh, if we just look out, we've definitely got a huge cloud build up here. Very different from from back where we came from, where it's all kind of overcast and uh, sorry and scattered around. But here, it's like the Bahamas, isn't it? We've got some big cloud build up. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't fly in to some type of uh, tropical storm or something at some point. Ah, I think we have to go PIM. Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay, now I'm understanding. Can't see why you can't do it with the weather selected, though. It's a bit silly. So you can see now, if we have a look at the map, you can see we're definitely going into some suspect weather here. Unfortunately, you have to turn the map off to get it to go out and then turn the weather back on. That's why it looks so pixelated, because I had it li just... Li I had it in just a little bit too much. So there's some kind of... A little bit of bad weather here. It doesn't look terrible, terrible, but... Um, let me turn it back on there. So that's a bit better. That looks more like a weather radar, doesn't it? Just to give us an idea. Cloud's definitely building up over there. You can see it's not so scattered now. So we, we are going to lose... Uh, unfortunately, we are going to lose... Visual. But this is what we kind of flew over here to see was this lush green water here because now we're going to say goodbye to that and the next water will be hitting will be more like this here this is a bit more blue here um, and we're going to start flying more inland now as you can attest to on the map we'll come back down towards the coast but we'll be flying inland a little bit so And I would say we are around halfway through this part of the flight. Now what I am considering doing is uh, when we get to our arrival airport is whoop, what did I do there? Is to maybe build my own flight plan, but I don't know. The thing is, I'm scared of going out to main menu and reloading now after what happened last night because I'm worried that there's like a memory leak that causes a crash 
Um, it was the first crash I've had. I've been out to the menu before, and I was loading in Los Angeles, and I was streaming. So, you know, all these things come together and can cause issues. I'd be silly not to think not to think they could, you know. You know what? It might have been uh, Ellard's gut. It might be when I was pressing one of these. One of these buttons here might have just changed something. Because quite a lot of them are inoperable, but they. You never know if the, the, they connect to something by accident or something like that, so. Oh, got me landing lights on. They should be off after 10,000 feet. I will get used to that once they bring out one of these passenger things, because normally they they uh, they keep an eye on stuff like that, and you get you get you lose points uh, when you do stuff like that. So. There's a couple of national parks just over here, but unfortunately we can't see them because of the cloud cover. There's a Delombi National Park. One, because there's two of them apparently. Uh, we'll be flying over the city of Bissau. But again, I don't think we're going to see it because this build up in, in, in clouds. Got a something 28 knot wind now. It's coming across us, it's not a tailwind anymore. See, I, I, I was scrolling in there and something clicked, but luckily it didn't turn the nav off, so that's what happened, I think. I was just zooming in, because you were zooming in and out. I don't know why it clicks it if you go past it. Seems a bit strange, but it does do it, so. You just have to be careful to try and keep your mouse somewhere where it's not going to... Um, I normally try and do it like up in the screen a little bit. So, the thing is, is that... W the one thing that's broken with this is it does about 120 knots under. According to what it says on the splash screen. So the splash screen... Splash screen? No. The aircraft selection sh sh screen says this uh, this plane can do 330, and I think the official website says 3. Sorry, 320. I think the official website says 320, but in here it's 220, and you cannot get this plane to do more than 200. So I don't know if that's an issue with the plane as well, but you'd have thought all of this would have been picked up on in the alpha phase, to be honest things like that and I don't think it's difficult to give it the the things to change speed somebody has done I'm hearing clicks I'm sure of it somebody has done uh, some things to change it to change this airplane uh, I was considered downloading that mod but I didn't want to do it just before the stream so okay so I can turn them off just seeing it here uh, let's have a look. Pam. I see where it's affected now. These affect this here, and it there's no data. So, yeah. There is some data on the GPS, actually. Nakol is our next one. Oh, did we pass? I didn't set my timer going. Nakol is our next one, and it's 120 nautical miles. But we already have that here, so I really don't need it on the uh, cluttering up the the PFD. So we'll turn that off. We'll turn that one off as well, just to give us uh, that. Don't know if we can... Okay, vertical approach. Where's that one then? 
So where does that give us our vertical approach? Maybe it's actually just in here or something when we're when we're coming down. Strange, but I'll have that one off, uh, all off, and just the approach one. Just the approach one. Okay, so let's go back. Minimum stop really well. Again, if it called out your minimums, I'd probably I'd probably set stuff like that. But it doesn't call them out, so there's not much point. So this is a cool thing about about doing this type of thing where you're flying long distance and you're flying quite often because you start picking everything up. See there, it says TAS 336 knots, which I think that's its maximum speed, but you can't get it up to it, so I guess you can in a, in a dive, but... <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. We are flying through this kind of thick cloud here. Um, looks like rain cloud to me, but especially this, especially this here, this really does look like rain cloud. You can have rain clouds which are scattered. It's not super common, but you do get it. And especially in areas like this, where there's a lot of humidity on the ground. And no high level clouds, just blue skies above us. Okay, so probably some point around the call we'll start getting call outs to decrease our altitude because we're we're shifting now because you know once you once you're up at cruise altitude you really start shifting. So we'll probably start getting some call outs to to change our altitude and stuff. Call is what? 101 nautical miles, 102 nautical miles. I thought we were leaving the coast behind, behind, but we're not. I think it's always going to be in view. We're not quite going. Whoops. Oi. No, no, we'll be okay. Did I turn anything off? Nav. Altitude. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I sat on my remote on my uh Is the landing gear down? No. Okay. Where's the talk on 103? Why is it saying landing gear now? Oh, please don't have fucked this up, Swifty. Oh, I know why. 
because I've accidentally hit my flaps. Okay, that's why she was shouting landing gear. Okay. I set on my controller, and my controller here, and I need to unmap it, is set to the... This is set to the flaps, and this is set for the rudder. And I, I didn't realise it sat on the button, so... But you see, she was shouting landing gear, so I was trying to work out what I'd done wrong. Could have probably checked it from inside the cockpit, but yeah, I basically put the flaps down by accident. Which probably would have broken them off at this height and speed. We've lost a ton of speed. <laughs> Of speed. But well, we should build that back up. Shouldn't be, shouldn't take too long to build that back up. Gotta start doing what pilots do, which is sitting with your hands on your lap so you're not messing anything up. Okay, so we're all, all already at 89 nautical miles, so this really kind of ticks over when you're um, when you're at cruise altitude. Still looking down at some r lush sea waters. No, no, I'm flying it with my flight yoke, it's just this has still got some of the buttons. Because when you plug it in, some even if you have your yoke, your, your joypad, your keyboard, all of them are mapped at the same time. So, if I want to do my uh, flaps, for example, I can do it with a button on my joystick, I could do it with my keyboard, and some of my joypad is also mapped to it. So, it's uh, I just need to take those maps off. It's just a complete accident. Okay, it looks like we're getting past this weather for the time being, but then we're going to go back into another patch of clouds. Eighty nautical miles to go. Whoa! Why did I accidentally change the barrel pressure? This is what I mean. If you are zooming in on something, it just starts clicking stuff. That's a real issue. And I don't know why they would have thought you wanted to do that, unless you know what it might be. I understand now. It's to give you the illusion, if you, if you hang over something and you scroll, it turns it and this gives it that illusion, but I'd rather just press the button than have it auto-select when you use the mouse wheel. I'll have to have a look at how you change that. Ah! Went a bit too crazy with that, didn't we? It's been doing this recently where it kind of goes mental with it. You don't ask it to. Look at it, it's going crazy. One click is taking off 200. It shouldn't be. It should be taking off one. Okay, but whatever. Uh, what did she say? Flight level 23,000, I think she said. Look at it, it's just doing what it wants. It's a bit weird. I don't know why it's doing that. It's only just started doing that today. 
wasn't doing that before jumping down by so much but there you go okay just gonna pull back on the throttles a little bit because we're talking the hell out of them again just check that she said like level 230 yep okay so this is our descent now Oh, look at the clouds here. Completely different from back there. A big change. So probably a little bit of rain down there. Once we get to Nicole, it's only nine, ten minutes to landing, so uh, it's not actually that long. We are building up a bit of speed on the descent, which I am going to allow it to do because I want to catch up what we missed before when we were off course a little bit. So, and when we were doing the climb and we were, we'd lost a fair bit. So now we're pushing it. And, um, oh God, I'm tired. Got some bad weather down south on the coast a little bit. So once we hit 13,000, uh, 23,000, I think she's going to probably give us a little, ask us to go a little bit lower. This is much better than it used to be in the old flight simulator. She's, some, sometimes they, well, the last few days when I've been setting up the flight, she's, it seems to get you down to, down to the approach level pretty, pretty quickly. So we're now in Guinea, just so you know. I don't I don't know if we'll make Nigeria today. We might do. Oh what have I been streaming an hour and a half and it's about another fifteen minutes, so maybe an hour and forty five now probably not gonna I I doubt we're gonna make Nigeria today. We might make the Ivory Coast might make the Ivory Coast. So everywhere I keep saying that my intention is to arrive, we're just not... It takes longer than you think. You know? It just takes longer than you think. Right, we're at 24,000, so we're probably going to... They're probably going to give us clearance next. Come on. Right, there we go. Oh, it's not giving us anything there. Why is it not working? Come on. Okay, get that to close. Oh, not that, that. Oof. Come on. Okay, then close that. No, you. Okay. Descend and maintain 17,000 feet in effectual gamer nighter 7.
Okay, it's doing it better there. It wasn't going crazy there. What'd she say? 17,000 there. Thirty-seven nautical miles. Okay, let's see how we do. Um, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll get down to flight level. Now, this is one thing that I'm not used to, and I need to actually start trying to get myself used to, and that is learning exactly uh, to change flight level at the correct times, at the correct uh, feet per minute, because that is the difference between on time late and slacking for the sake of slacking um, in all seriousness because they if you're going if you're descending thousand feet per minute but your next checkpoint when you should be at a different flight level is close then you're going to end up coming high on your approach now the ATC does a pretty good job of talking you down and what you could do is if you're unsure you come down a bit faster and then you sit at that flight level but that is going to take that is going to make your flight longer so what you should be doing is this is why you have a timer is judging how much time I've got left to the next nav what level I need to be at, at that nav so it'll you can work out how many feet Per minute you should be losing and this is just allowing you to keep the correct the best altitude the best speed and everything kind of together so but I think once we get to 17 it'll probably talk us down to 13 12 something like that um, we might make it yeah I think we'd, we'd make it for now call and then Nako we make a, a turn uh, then there's kind of like a step and when we finish that step so it's a hard left and then a hard right and that's when we can start uh, uh, getting everything ready for arrival or approach approach arrival Wow, we're still passing. Uh, let's have a quick look. So we get, we've got past that weather now, but you can see there's a little break in the clouds here. But then we're going to be going back into it. We're actually going to be where we're landing. It looks red. Interesting. Maybe we'll have a bit of rain. I don't mind it. I'd be very, very interested in trying to put this thing down in the rain, and maybe even having a go around. <laughs> that could be interesting. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just I'm I'm I am eager to try some uh, some interesting landings. Got some nice uh, nice cl cell clouds there. Look at that dark, ominous. So we're about 900 feet off 17,000. zoom in a little bit because I want to be able to see these screens better while I'm making the changes. So this should jump over to the altitude hold any time now. It's normally like within about 300 uh, feet or something and switches over and starts to slow it down. Okay, so we're going down again. So she didn't even wait there, she just gave us permission to go straight down to 11. And we got 16 nautical miles, which is about half, well, 14, sorry. It's about half of our last call. Like I say, I think we've got a long time here to get, we are going quite fast, but we've got a long time to uh, get down to, to, um,
to 4,000 feet or whatever it'll be when we start the approach. We've got a long way to go. We're over halfway down and we definitely started a decline. Less than the distance we've got to go to the goal, so... We should be fine. We're going to be heading over to this area and it does look like uh, high clouds over here. Can you see here? We've even got other layers of clouds here, so we might be in for some interesting weather. So we're through 15,000, heading for 11 feet, and we are 7.1 nautical miles from our next nav point. We'll make a, s a very, very slight turn to the right. It'll be a constant turn as well, not a hard turn. So, And then we'll make a hard left turn and a hard right turn, and then we will be on approach. So... see this is the kind of nice little soft right uh, hard left hard right but then that will take us right into the approach and you can see it's an almost straight approach all the way in it's quite a long one that one but that's good because it allows you to get set and everything so it's not it's not the end of the day getting a couple of little blustery gusts here which are rocking us a little bit. a bit of bumpy weather here. So Defco, <laughs> we'll definitely get blown around a little bit here. And if I was in this plane I would definitely be squeezing my butt cheeks. But uh, we'll be okay. Yeah, so... Okay, so when we get to Deco we will. Uh, thing is going to be the death of me. For some reason it's doing... I'm not sure if it's because we're not at level flight, but it's kind of going crazy and I'm loving these clouds here. We're definitely going to get to experience something here. So, Decol, we are uh, 7.8 nautical miles away. Passing 1,007. We arrive at Decol early. I don't think we have to be down at 4,000 feet at Decol, but uh, it's probably roughly where we should be. So, if we're not down to 4,200 by Decol, which I don't think we are going to be, I'm going to slow down just slightly. So, I don't want to go further than 1,700 feet per minute, really, because I don't know if this aircraft 
supports that type of speed so it's a very interesting um, very interesting clouds coming up here I'm going to put on our landing lights okay now it's saying 2400 so I am definitely just going to start slowing us down see 2400 I'll just check yep So we're just going to bring up down to about just under 220, I think, as we enter these clouds. Well, this is getting interesting. <laughs> As we're coming in through the clouds here, this is going to be pretty cool. I sometimes forget that I can actually control it with this, but we're going to turn into the cloud. This is this is nice. I like this. I actually turn into the cloud. I'm going to try not to crash. We are doing IFR, and uh, to be honest with you, we should have visuals we should have visuals as we're doing this and we don't which isn't good so yeah we weren't quite descending the way we should have I think we'll be okay from here to be honest. Oh, the clouds have cleared a little bit. Oh, this is lovely. I'm loving this kind of going in at going into the clouds and then coming and seeing the break in them it's uh... that's really nice So we have got clearance to land, so I'm going to bring the flaps down just so we can uh, slow ourselves down a little bit. So we need to increase the engines just ever so slightly. Okay, so landing gear down, flaps at landing configuration. Good speed, just losing slightly. But bleed off a small amount. I'm going to turn off the autopilot now, just so I have control. We've passed our uh, auto. Our um, our 2,400. I'm loving this land. That 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 city to the right and river to the left is outstanding. So I might have to just add a little bit of engine power here to keep us from bleeding too much speed. I think we've got a crosswind coming from the right here because my nose is having to face. So this is actually really strange. I've never actually done, like, I don't think the last crosswind landing was as 
was the same as this. We're slightly below stall speed there. Well, not stall speed, but slightly below uh, final approach speed. We should be at 85, we're currently like 85, 84. I don't think it's going to be... I'll just add a tan a little bit of power. Just so we don't... That was hard, I'm going to be totally honest. That was a little hard, that landing. It wasn't the worst. You can land hard, you just... Uh, as long as you don't bounce. Uh, I forgot what they call it, Ryanair, quite famous for doing it. They. Uh, Ryanair are very famous for doing it, for slamming the... It's to, so you don't have to do a go-around, but <laughs> that's traditionally why you would do it. But that wasn't too bad. I'm not totally upset with that, because it, it was a crosswind landing as well, so... Uh, okay, we're going to get taxi to parking. Landing lights to taxi. Oh, wow. We're at ramp 38. Now I need to remember that ramp 38 because hopefully we'll take off from ramp 38. Look at the the trees. It's so different from anywhere we've landed. Uh, like for the trees and stuff, it's a bit strange. Feels a bit strange. It feels like I'm somewhere tropical <laughs> for the first time. It's a really strange feeling. Okay, so came in a little bit to the right there. Not a little bit to the right actually. Quite a lot to the right, but I can get him lined up. I'm used to this now done it so many times. Whoop. He says, shooting himself in the foot. Go on. Nudge it. Alright, okay, good stuff. That is engines off. Master wine. Okay, so we'll go Off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, tax lights off. Pum 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 pum. Turn off the ignition. Turn off all the autopilot stuff. Turn off the auto select. Turn off the BP, or I did that. Whoops. Turn off the 
BP and uh, can't remember if turned the other way. Yeah. yeah, and then what you could do here is you pull that down and it does everything. Oh, it does the last part anyway, all in one go. So it's flight time, one hour twenty three minutes. Yeah, an hour and twenty three minutes. So wasn't too bad. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's go back to the main menu and we'll we'll, we'll set up our next uh, our next leg. So that was good. I enjoyed that landing because it, it was a little bit. Uh, it's the first time I've kind of been slightly nervous because there was a little bit of a crosswind, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't terrible. Um, ramp thirty eight, wasn't it? Come on, you've got to remember these things, people. Now we've got to bloody find the airport. Hang on a second. So it's just before Sierra Leone. So we came in over there. We came in over there. Oof. I'm going to have to look at it in the list because uh, Kong. Kong. Oh, I thought it was in that line. Never mind. Okay, so that's our departure, and we are going from ramp 38, because that's where, or parking 38, because that's where we were. So that's cool that we'll be able to start off exactly where we left. And we are going to, in this second leg, I do believe we will be going to the Ivory Coast. And we're going to Felix Hoffenwet Bionje. There it is. I found that quickly, didn't I? Set as a rival. Okay, so uh, 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 let's have a look. Yeah, this should be about a two-hour flight, and then I think that will be that will be that one for today. I think because I think uh, we're, we're going to make a slight detour, um, which will be Monriva. So let me just check. Monriva. So that must be somewhere. Monriva must be somewhere here. There's a kind of tiny little inlet. Is that it? Roberts International. Wow. Pff, too good at this. And we're going to add. Well, we're actually not going to add that. We're going to add one of the. Um, we're going to add Archie here. As the. As the. As the. Uh, Little, 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 the intersection, then Liberia, and then is that Ivory Coast? So we don't need to go down there, we can just go straight across. So this will add a little bit of time to it. Actually, that's a lot of time to it. So, flight planning, I really have to. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Flight planning, I really need to start uh, doing that correctly. So, five, six, seven, seven thirty. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm okay for this one. Uh, right, because I really want to start taking notice of all that stuff and making sure that I am doing it the best. But we are going at high altitude airways as well, so that might bring the time down. Stupidly, it it also took away our extra marker there. So we'll have to put that back in. Add. Okay. <laughs> I like how it's done that. So, uh, so at the moment... To, Two hours forty-four. It's longer to go with high altitude airways. That doesn't make sense. Remove. Remove. Uh, remove. I think we can remove that because it makes no sense to have it. We'll remove that. We'll remove that one. And I even think we'll remove that one because once we put in the departure, we'll be probably looking good. So this could be. I did say could be. Uh, we are taking off. Uh, we're either, it's either going to be that one. No. So wh what runway are we on? Runway 24. Right, okay. So runway 24. How's it going, Brian? Mm, okay, let's try that one. Yep, okay. That's fine. Ah, it takes us out over the sea, though. Don't want that one, I don't think, actually. Let's look what that one does. Mm, no. Uh, 
Bolt 24 looks okay. Oh, for crates no. Bolt 24. Uh, bolt 24. Not. Bolt 24. Not. No. The Bolt 24 one looks like the best one. This is the last one, and no. Actually, that one's not too bad, but I don't like the fact that it comes back in. So we'll go Bolt 24. Bolt 24, that. That is okay because what we can actually do is we take this one, bulker, we remove it. Can we remove it? Oh, we can't remove it, sugar. <sighs> right, so that was it. Was that one, wasn't it? Was it SBS? No, that was the crazy ass one. SI, yes. Right, I think that's our. We're going to have to take away Archie. Which means we're not going to enter Liberia. So I'm a bit upset about that. Actually, that might take us across Iber uh, Liberia. Okay. Let's call that one. Okay, so we have a uh, runway. I certainly am, Brian. You need to know where you're going. Okay, so that's not our airport. That's not our airport. Where's our airport? I haven't knocked the airports off, have I? That's certainly not our airport. That's our airport, okay. No, it's not. Why has it knocked the airports off? Oh, God, this is annoying. So, and I've forgotten what bloody runway we're coming in on. can kind of work it out from there. Okay, yeah, if that's a... Okay, that looks good. Yeah, okay, now the airport's back up. Of course it is. ILSX, ILSY, let's just try this. No. No, not... Well, maybe a localizer one? Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do a localizer one, because then I think I'll, get, I'll be able to do an approach. Right, okay, look at the flight conditions. Looks like there is stormy weather in the air. Let's hope... That it actually fits now, because it said this in the last one, and it wasn't stormy. <laughs> You're, are you are you complaining? Right. So let me just see total flight time. Total flight time: two hours twenty three minutes. Okay. Okay. Everything's down. Ready to go. Okay. Let's fly it. Like I said, hopefully it won't crash like it did yesterday. So, we'll be taking off from Guinea, flying over Sierra Leone, uh, we'll be flying over Liberia too, and then to the Ivory Coast. And this one. We're not going to make Nigeria, I don't think. Because if we went from the Ivory Coast to Nigeria, that would take another like two hours or something. So, um. <laughs> Can't you get one of... Don't you like have one of those beer delivery services in Scotland? I know they normally cost a little bit too much, though, don't they? It's normally a bit too much extra. Just a little bit too much extra, I think. Stormy conditions. Right, and all the clouds have gone, so it's obvious that the they're having a problem with the weather system again. So if it says it's stormy, that's what we're going to put in, okay? Because I want, I don't mind flying in a storm if there's a storm, okay? I want to fly in a storm if there's a storm because I want to, I want to do these types of conditions. So until we get the, oh look, you can actually see. Uh, some cloud here over the houses that's pretty cool if it says a storm i want a storm okay so that's the be all and end all of it oh it's only a five minute walk okay then stop complaining 
Right, let's scooch over and we'll start our startup procedure. So, bar goes up. Conigree ground in effectual game Conigree. reminder 7 IFR to Abi John, ready to copy. In effectual game reminder 7 is cleared to Abi John, airport as filed. Take off runway 24 climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Departure frequency is ONE. Okay, I'll just read that back to her. So it's In effectual gamer nine or seven ten thousand feet airport has filed. Take off runway two four climb and maintain one zero thousand feet. Departure on one two eight decimal one squawk one one seven two. In effectual gamer nine or seven read back correct. Contact ground on L N E two nine or decimal one. Okay, so that's our altitude. We're going to go uh, vertical speed. Will be uh, we're going to go 1,700 because we want to uh, get up to that flight level as, as soon as possible. There's a speed uh, button there, but it doesn't work unfortunately. Okay, nav. So we have virtual, uh, virtual, uh, vertical speed, not virtual speed. Altitude and nav set. Okay, so. FMS. FMS. Okay. So that part's set. So the autopilot's set and ready. Hey, Wicked Steve. How are you doing? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm loving this weather as well, by the way. I wish there was some intermediary weather conditions. I'm sure you can kind of make them and set them. So I might see if there's any presets out there that I can load in just for when the weather's been iffy like today so because it really needs to be done okay so we're gonna go cabin lights access lights that needs to go up right okay so we go nav and strobe we go I think I need to change my batteries in my mouse. It's really acting up today, but like really, really acting up. Really acting up. I might have to, once I'm up in the air and we're, we're, we're away, I might go get the batteries to change it. Okay, everything looks good up there. So. Yeah, it's... The, the the batteries are almost gone. Bim, what? Bim, bam. Missing. Oh, they're gone. Gone, gone. Right. I can use my stick for this. It's okay. I'll be alright. So, uh. Okay. On. That's up, 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 up. That's on. Is that nav light on? I can't tell. No, it wasn't. I don't know why it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So I was overcooking the engine there. And I shouldn't have. Okay, ignition, I thought I'd set that twice. So does it go to auto? It goes off. It goes to auto. Okay, we also need an intercept on for the second, uh, for the moment, I think. Right, and we're going to scooch over. Back in our seat. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. There we go. We're going to take off the yoke so that we can actually see properly. Okay, and it looks like it's clearing a bit, but I I'm guessing it's only for a short time. It's going to be cool for taking off, though. Okay, so everything's set. We are uh, good to request the taxi clearance now. Uh, I wasn't going to get a push back because I think we're going to literally just turn. Because I think if he'd have pushed us back, to be honest, oh, maybe I should have asked her for a push back. But we're going to run literally onto the runway, so but we'll cut his head off as we go. But that's no problem. I mean, he glitches half the time anyway, so I'll just ignore him. Okay, so let's get taxi clearance. Conigree ground in effectual gamer nine or seven ready to taxi IFR. In 
I think it's definitely more user friendly than X Plane. Taxiing hold short runway two four using taxiway ineffectual gamer nine or seven. <laughs> Let's just go through him. Like even the white van man's on his way, but uh whoops. Bit too much talk there. So we've got vans and everything on the taxiway. Oof. This is the bad side of the game. Hopefully they can get this part fixed because it is really stupid, don't you think? Having to drive through a van to get to the runway. Okay, let's set the parking brakes. Okay, so we're going to be taking off in that direction before the game throws us. So we'll request takeoff. Conakry Tower, ineffectual gamer, nine or seven at runway two four, ready for takeoff. IFR to Abi No, I'm actually on quite low grade hardware, a potato PC. But on my PC, this game just seems to run really, really well. I'm very lucky in that sense because I know for a lot of people it doesn't. Did have a crash last night when I was loading in uh, Los Angeles, but it's kind of half expected when you're loading in Los Angeles. Oh crap! Yeah, I did. Uh, acknowledge takeoff clearance. Yes, I should have acknowledged that. Hey. Let's let our Auto uh, co-pilot do the rest of it. Look, we've got we've got trucks on the runway. I mean, come on, people, set our takeoff flaps. Unfortunately, this happens in the game sometimes. I've it's I haven't I haven't experienced it a lot, but it does happen. Rotate. Whoa, that was a big gust of wind, really big gust of wind, I'm lucky I caught that. Okay, so we've got positive rate of climb, flaps up as well, wait, nose dipped a bit there when I put the flats up. Okay, he's going to do the comms. I uh, just want to see what that warning is, because we have... Oh yeah, I've got the yaw damper off. Okay, put the yaw damper on. So that should be us now. So now I have a pretty, pretty crappy PC. It's about eight years old. But it does run an i7 processor, but an old one. Uh, I've got an RX 590 uh, Fat Boy, which runs too hot, so you need your fans on full whack all the time. I love how the the uh, the weather's passed over, actually. So I'm just going to quickly switch to live to see if it actually kicks the storm in. No, that's a real shame that it does that. I'll go back to storm. Oh, snow, no. Snow in the Ivory Coast? Are you kidding me? Storm. Okay, there we go. Is that right? But I love that storm cell. It's fantastic. You can see the, the rain curtain. And how it's pushed away from the airport. That's, that's outstanding. It's really, really good. Okay, a couple of things I didn't set. Looking back now. I didn't set them on the uh, MFD, so we want the weather on, so we can see what's going on with the weather. But before that, we want to zoom out a little bit. Whip, that's zooming in. Zoom out. See the weather, please. Oh, wow, that's very different. <laughs> that is very different from how we've had it before. 
Um, then we want to go on to that one. We want to go PFD settings, put the wind on option 3, just so I can see what it's... It sounds like we're going back into rain now, because I can hear it uh, hitting the windscreen. Oh, there you go, yep, yeah, we're flying into a cloud now. Look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely amazing. You've got the mixture of your flying into the rain crowd with the rain coming across your windows with the blue skies at the high level and the white clouds where it's not raining. It's just... Phew, the game blows me away sometimes. It really does. Really does. So let's go nav one going up for 10,000 feet. What's our climb rate again? 1,700, but we're actually at 1,900 at the moment. Torque's 87, so we can probably whack that up a bit. Let's find a, somewhere in the 90s. Oh, I can't zoom out because my mouse isn't working properly. Right. This is just... Whoa, I love this. It's fantastic. And we're going to actually break through the clouds here. And this is where it's going to be outstanding. When we finish this turn, we're going to break through the clouds into a sunny spot. Because we'll actually be out of the... Uh, we'll be completely out of the storm cell. And you'll really see how cool this looks when you do break through the clouds. Here we go, you can see it breaking through a little bit there. But we're going to fully break through any any minute now. I'll sit up a little bit higher in the cockpit actually so you get a better view when we do break through. Because it, it is so cool to watch. Look at that. How cool is that? I'm telling you, no weather effect has ever tickled my balls like that like that does it's like it reminds me of Red Dead Redemption with the same look at that you can't tell me that isn't awesome and I can hear in my earphones the thunder off to the right it's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal Look at how high those cells are as well. So high. Look at it. It's amazing. I've never played X-Plane myself actually, but I, I will say that it's definitely be much like worlds away from FSX. FXX I used to like and I was quite happy with, but sometimes. Okay, two one zero, going to two one zero. Climb and maintain flight level two one zero in effectual gamer nine or seven. Vertical speed, yeah. Did you say two one zero? Oops. Oh, my mouse is doing my head in here. I'll double check it, but I'm sure she said 210. She certainly did. Right, 210. So now we're going to head back in. Wait. Into the eye of the beast. I'm going to pull back so we don't cook our engines a little bit. They're on 87%. Wow, that was a big jump. Can't be 87%. It doesn't look like 87% there. Oh, it is. Wow. So well, we don't want to be losing time because we're not. Uh... A definite. Well, this game essentially will hold your hand. It'll do everything from holding your hand to not holding your hand at all, which I think is great. The autopilot that tries to kill you doesn't really try to kill you. It's normally that you aren't. 
your plane isn't configured configured well. So if you're pulling a 25 degree um, climb while clicking it, he's going to kind of try to keep that 25 degree climb. So you've either got to let him take off if you were doing that, or you've got to get level before he takes off. Look at this, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. It's like on a fisheye lens. It's going in the clouds. I'm loving it. Look at that. Wow. And you feel the depth as well. This reels like feels like going in the belly of the beast. And uh, the other th the other things in this game is the map. Oh look, we're getting the icing on the windows, so we need to turn our icing on. So our windshield icing needs to be on prop needs to be on and I'm gonna check the wings yep we've got icing on the we've got icing on the wings as well so I am gonna put the de-icer on the wings as well so you can see it started disappearing off the windscreen already so what I might do is turn off the windshield one maybe let it build up a bit next time before I turn it back on again but we definitely need the one on the wings because I don't want to be heavy or anything. So we are slightly hot at the moment. Should be making a right turn here, but when you're in the middle of a cloud, you can't tell if you're going right, left, or upside down. see the icing building up again on the windows this is really really good effects so we're seeing quite a lot of the weather effects today which is good which is really really good okay so this is quite a straight path now until we until we get to Nigeria I'm going to let the icing build up on the windows a little bit because I, I really want to see how it looks uh, once it builds up a little bit. Talks a little bit high. We are getting buffeted as well. I, I'm loving this. <laughs> you can, f you can see it like. So the de-icing on the wings is barely helping it. And on the windows we're getting a real build up of ice now, so um, let's have a look from the outside how it looks. Look at the nose. Look at the nose. <laughs> wow. This is outstanding. This is outstanding. I love it. Um, it has... It depends which edition you get, but I think the minimum is about 10 or 12. I think it's probably about 12, isn't there? 12 upwards of 25, something like that. Uh, you can get a load of liveries and stuff. So I'm going to start turning everything on now, because uh, I think we need all the icing stuff on. It's, it should only be icing while we're going through this purple patch. I think that once we're through the purple patch, we'll be okay. I tell you what, though, it de-ices the windows immediately. The wings are still suffering, the nose is still suffering, but the windows get de-iced almost immediately. I'm telling you, these are weather conditions. We probably shouldn't be flying in these weather conditions, but... getting thrown around all over the place. This is so funny. Ice is very bad if we get too much of it. I'm guessing this will stave it off. I'm guessing... 
I'm guessing the icing will stave it off. That's what it's kind of built for. So, seeing as it's so cold, we'll put on the uh, we'll put on the old air conditioning for everybody. I'll uh, I'll turn the heating up a little bit so that we're not we so that everybody's not cold. Board. Okay, so, well, two nine zero, okay. Climb and maintain flight level two nine zero in effectual gamer nine seven. Wait, two nine zero. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm over speeding a little bit. Well, not over speeding, over talking. Two nine zero. Oi, I went a bit, a bit over there, but that's all right. Okay, we need to... Now it's going to over-climb, and that's really dangerous how it's doing that. That's... they need to get that fixed. It just threw me into a 3,000 feet a minute climb, which is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. Uh, so, 29,000. They need to get that fixed. Okay, so that's good. So we've come out of the cloud again. This should clear a bit of the ice off as well. Uh, if we're not inside the cloud. But we're going to go straight back into another one by the looks of it. Dead ahead of us. But then we have got a clearing after that. So my hope is that it gets a little bit better. And maybe our landing, wherever we're, when we arrive in Nigeria, the, the weather might be slightly different. And I probably will clear this weather away as we arrive in Nigeria because I don't know what the weather's like. I could have a look actually if there's a weather if I can find a weather radar website. Uh, weather radar. Let's have a look. Right, weather radar. I'm guessing weather.com will have a weather radar, won't it? So, I'll just put Nigeria. Stop being a div. Nigeria. I really don't know what is wrong with my stuff today. Nothing's working correctly. Nigeria. see what it says it's like here oh actually there's no weather oh yeah expect the th occasional thunderstorm so this thunderstorm might be a bit over the top but but it's not totally incorrect Look at that, we can even see like the green lush land down here. It's so cool. I love it. Let's have a look outside again to see what the nose looks like. Yeah, it's not a huge build up on the nose. There's a little bit of a build up on the tail. That's pretty cool. You can't really... There's not a very good weather radar for that area. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look. So we'll see. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have a look. There is some, uh, as far as I know, there is a there is a mod with some presettings for, uh, with more presettings for weather. So you can have like tropical storms rather than this storm. Some people have played around with it and made some good settings. Apparently, um, that would be pretty cool.
So I'm just waiting for us to get up to 29 so we get clearance to our cruising altitude and then I will uh, I'll go get some new new batteries for this blooming mouse because it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, so we're getting pretty high now. Right above all that, uh... All that mess that is those tropical storms. But it's cool. Right, so now we have clearance. until we get to our flight level and I'm just going to sort the uh, throttle out and then I'm going to make myself a quick cup of tea because it's a few minutes before we arrive. Uh, oh, why have we got cabin pressure? I've forgotten how you fix this. Is it that or do I have to go up? I managed to fix this the other day and I don't know how to do it now. There we go. Ah! You standardise it. If you press stand it, okay. So that happened the other day for some reason and it always actually happens in a storm. But the other day I managed to fix it quite easily but there it was going off for a while. Because so, if you lose cabin pressure everybody's going to sleep. Sleep to sleep. Right, okay, just set the throttles. Because we are at cruising altitude now. Had it? Okay, cool. Right, people, I am going to just uh, go make myself a quick cup of tea. Because we are now at cruising altitude and hopefully we're not going to arrive to the next waypoint. Nope got a while to go to the next waypoint so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I will leave you with an external view while I go get my cup of tea Let's see what's the best external view it's pretty nice there you go there's an external view for you and I'll be back in a few minutes
Are we dead yet? Of course we're not. We're doing very well indeed. 99% talk. We are 189 knots, I'm guessing. If we're only doing 189 90 knots, my supposition would be that the wind is against us. No, we've actually got a tailwind. That is very strange. We should be doing much faster. I wonder if this game doesn't take tailwind into consideration. Now we can see minus 46 here, so I'm not sure if that's the outside temperature or something. Still got, yes, yeah, probably is. Still got icing on the wings. Uh, yeah, still passing through a dangerous cloud. Uh, a dangerous cloud here. So. Oh, weather radar. I've got an app with a weather radar on it. I forgot. It should be able to see down into Nigeria. Let's load it up. Got this one here. It's quite a nice weather radar one. So let's have a look. GPS is not enabled. Okay, then I'll enable it, won't I? But I don't need to know here. I need to know down in Nigeria. So let's have a look. Where's Africa? Okay. Okay, so we need to... Uh, let's add some layers. Rain and snow. Rain and thunder. So there is. There's massive thunderstorms over that way. So the live weather should be showing that there are massive thunderstorms. Yeah, massive thunderstorms where we took off from. Passing over Ghana. Right into the south of Nigeria. There's a lot of rain. Maybe not huge thunderstorms, but there are thunderstorms. Definitely. There are actually, in this, where we are now in the game, there's a huge thunderstorm. So, Ivory Coast just has a slight amount. So, the game, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Some days it'll say that the live weather is X, Y, or Z, and then it doesn't show anything. It's clear skies when you go in the game. They were supposed to fix that. And it did seem to be fixed in the last update, but I don't know. I suppose that when Rex Weather comes out, or whatever it's... I can't remember what its actual name is, uh, this version of it. It, uh, it is a background thing that, uh, that updates the... constantly updates the weather in-game. So it sits in the background and it tells the, the game, okay, the weather is here, 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 and you don't know is it changing because it's telling the the computer ahead of time what it's going what the weather's going to be and i think it works great i was hoping that the weather integration would actually take away the need for that because i think they charge about 25 euros for it it's pretty expensive for an add-on um, yeah it's pretty expensive for an add-on but it's um And I didn't want to really have to pay for it with this one. I don't want to... I didn't really want to... Uh, what was I going to say? I didn't really want to... Uh, I've had a brain fart because somebody's text messaging me and I was trying to read it at the same time. Students, Students mother. Um, oh, that was a nice one. We broke through the clouds there. So, I didn't really want to spend a lot on extras in this game, because they can, it, it, I never spent a lot in FSX, but I know people who did, and I know that they spent thousands, thousands of pounds. And what I'm a bit annoyed about is that when it's come to this game, the companies have said, oh, you can upgrade for 40% of the price. It's like, look, mate, we, I paid 30 quid for this airport. Please, just let them have it. Um, there's plenty of new players. Plenty of new simmers who are going to buy stuff. I don't know. I think, you know, when, you buy, when you're paying 30 quid for something, 
I don't want to play again. There's a navigation tool which I absolutely adore, but the guy's trying to charge rental price on it. <laughs> subscription based, and I'm not paying a subscription for it. Um, I would use it, but I, I just, I'm not paying 30 quid every three months or whatever just to use it when there is a perfectly good in game version, it's just that version is better. Oh, you did. Oh, look. We can see the, the moon. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at that. Come on. Come on. You can't, you can't say that is not amazing. Look at that. It's a pretty high definition version of it as well. We've seen everything today. There's not been a crash. We flew through a great thunderstorm. You missed that good part. That was the good part. We took off and everything in into a thunderstorm. It was really, really good. But I'm having to do the, the weather myself because the the uh, the live weather's not working properly. If I switch to live weather here... Well, I'm already actually on live weather. If I fit switch to live weather here it says it's clear skies but it's not in actuality in actuality there really are storms so um, we're gonna keep the storms on for now when we arrive in Nigeria it won't be so much storms it will be rain but slight thunderstorms but I don't know how to tinker around with it so um, so yeah, I was just talking about one of the weather add-ons that they're bringing out, which I would, I would have liked, I would have liked this game to have done it properly, and I hope they fix it because it's flying clear skies all the time. It's really annoying, especially as the main menu is telling me the weather was thunderstorms. So if the main menu is telling me the weather is thunderstorms, then the game should understand that. But maybe it just can't access the the metadata or something that it uses. I don't know what me exactly what metadata they use. And what's showing here is not far off what was what what I'm seeing on the weather radar in reality. So. So yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look at what new, uh, any new creations that have been made this weekend for Flight Simulator. Uh, we'll sort that up. Uh, FS 2020. Right, okay, there we go. Oh, it's throwing us about a bit here, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at what's been made today in the creation section. Uh, bit of buffering. And we're slightly slow. Okay, so let's see what they've done. Okay, so somebody's done a US Forestry Service uh, liveries, which is pretty cool. Okay, some Ghent in Belgium. Riverside Museum and Tall Ship in Glasgow. Well, yeah, people are re releasing a lot of good stuff. The only thing is, it's all going to eat up. There's going to have to be a point where you you have stuff in files and just put it in and load it off a hard drive or something when you want it in the game, because this game's going to get very big very quickly. 
with all this freeware. I mean, it's great. It's great that people are creating it. Really, it truly is. Um, I'd like them to be creating a bit faster, but it's not up to me to really to really say that because some people are working very hard. But no, she's not. She's uh, she's on a diet again, Elizgar. I took her off the diet for a few days. She's already bulking up, so um, <laughs> she's sitting, she's sitting by the bowl in protest. Um, she's trying to show everybody on stream how how look. She's licking an empty bowl. She's uh, she's showing you all how evil I am and how horrible I am. So tough. She'll have to get used to it. I don't want her to be fat. She started breathing normally recently, which was really nice to, to hear. Wow, look at that. So cool. So cool. I never pooped on the floor, that cat. Not once. She once urinated in the bathroom and I'll never understand what it was because she's never done that either. And it was only one time and I never said anything to her, I just cleaned it up. She never did it again so I'm not sure if she was ill that day or something. Quite strange. So we don't need the windshield icing now I don't think. I'm going to keep the property ice and the airframe ice. I'll take off the uh, the light because we really don't need the light now. And the windows seem okay. They don't look like they're icing up again. Do they? No. No, they don't. getting thrown around a bit. Ah, okay, hang on a second. You can see the pressurization here, so... Doesn't do anything, does it? No. Okay. Did last night. It worked, but not now. I know the place looks a bit strange without a, uh, a yog, but it's uh, for me. It's important. Tell you what, cats are uh, are unbelievable when it comes to food. I'm guessing it sounds horrible, this, but I'm guessing they live quite docile lives because we live in a flat, so they get to go out on the balcony, which they really like. They sit and watch the birds and stuff like that, but they don't spend the whole day out there. And then a lot of the rest of the time is sleeping and stuff, which cats do, but they don't have that kind of adventure that some cats have. So I think food becomes their uh, their most important thing in their lives, and and um, yeah, I think they just their whole life goes around food. A bit like mine, really, but uh, oh, so the icing's cleared up on the wing. Not on this part, but it's cleared up all on the... Oh, has it? No, it hasn't. You can still see it. Sorry, I thought it had cleared up there. Couldn't really tell. I'm in a really big break in the clouds here. 
we'll be heading back into a storm cell here, you can see. But it's not purple, so it's not the worst. Uh, she isn't actually, she's looking out the door now, but she's definitely... She's definitely wanting a bit of attention. So, let's see where we are on the map now. No, you're not getting up, sweetheart. Go back to bed. It's not even close to feeding time yet. Okay, we've still got a fair way to go here. What I was thinking of doing was uh, showing you the intended route, but... This is the only part of this game that's going to be a bit strange, is, is, is uh, kind of, uh, how can I put it, just, you know, these parts where I'm just going from one place to the next. A lot of Africa is like that as well. There's not a whole load to see here because a lot of things aren't in the game, unfortunately. Now, I'm a member of a couple of message boards where when people, people go and, and look at the, you know, like, places that should be famous and, and they'll say, oh yeah, you can go there and you can see it, but Africa's half dead. Um, that's why I'm looking forward to go to America, because I know a lot about America, and a couple of mods are absolutely outstanding, and they're really going to like make jazz the stream up a little bit. Um, but for this part, going down here and across and everything, and whether, you know, still, still trying to work out whether we're going to go over the Middle East and whatnot. Trying to work that out. Uh, thank God I didn't stay at, do the whole thing at 3,000 feet because I think I actually think that would have been impossible and very boring. I can imagine going over to the Canaries at 3,000 feet and whatnot. Could have that could have taken a whole stream, you know. So. The weather effects are so cool. When we get down to, um, where was it? When we get that down to Namibia, there's supposed to be some things to look at. In South Africa, there's Cape Town and the, all the mountains around Cape Town, Cape Town as well. Um, and then, yeah, it's a case of how we move our way up. And we're also looking at uh, fauna and stuff like that. So we will maybe try and visit Victoria Falls as well. Um, but again, the, the, at the moment... At the moment, it, it, it doesn't show. So, how we work our way up through Africa... If we go up that... I'm still in two minds about doing it that way but otherwise I'm going to end up if I don't do it in a specific way I'm going to end up zigzagging all over the place so <laughs> it's a hard one the other thing is is that go well going through the Middle East there's more stuff to actually see so we can go up to Egypt yep we can go up to Egypt Yeah, there's stuff up around Egypt and go across maybe Oman or something. Uh, not Oman, uh, Abu Dhabi and stuff like that. And film. There's definitely stuff to see in that area. <sighs> yeah. I think there's a lot more stuff to be looked at, to be honest. Uh, to, to, try and, to try and find the places. 
uh, maybe start looking at stuff that is good to look at from the air. What was that? Why have I opened YouTube? I didn't want to open YouTube. So why have I opened it? I'll never know. Sorry, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to find something here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I was really, really kind of bit upset that I didn't get a key for Mafia. Still a bit upset, but <sighs> something's free. It's free. You can't, you can't really mourn about not getting it or getting it. But it's a bit unfortunate. I have got some, 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 some games to play through Xbox Live though. So, uh, what, what have I got? I've got We Happy Few. I have um, We Happy Few. What's that other one? Planet Zoo, I think it was on Xbox Pass as well that I've got in. Uh, Night Call, which is some detective thing. Don't know, yeah. Um, oh, some nice lush ground below us. Then I've got Gears of War. Now, I've never played Gears of War before. But, somebody told me it's something like The Division, but with monsters. So, I was like, ah. Oh. It's a cover-based shooter, with monsters, but not online. So, I thought, well, that might be worth a go. Um, I'm not buying... The thing is, I'm not buying games at the moment, because I really don't have enough money. And coming off the back of COVID, and if there's another COVID lockdown, financially, I'm screwed, because I've barely scraped through this one. So buying games has kind of become a secondary thing now. Also with the, the computer being sometimes seeming close to its last legs, I never know when that's just going to kick the bucket as well. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to save a bit of money, and um, the only one I really want to invest in will be Cyberpunk. So, trying not to... Uh, Try not to spend anything till Cyberpunk comes along because I know I'm gonna. The thing about Cyberpunk is I hate first person, but I love the world of Cyberpunk, so I can't see how I'm gonna dislike it or that it's gonna be a bad purchase in any way. I just can't see it from. I can't see it at all. I don't think I'm gonna regret uh, buying into that at all. There's certain games I just know that if I buy them, I'm going to love them. Um. Okay. Broken through the clouds a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is... It's kind of half realistic, but... We're going to set it now to uh, rain, because... There's not... Over this part, there isn't that many storms, it's just rain. Okay, so there's a slight bit of lightning, but I don't know how you mix the lightning in with this, um, with the weather system. I don't know. It's, ah, oh, I didn't know that. So you can kind of put lightning a little bit down. Okay, that's okay. That's cool. So would I have to bring up the aerosol density or something? I don't know.
Okay, okay, I don't want to mess around too much with that. Uh, there's some weird pressure there. Okay, altitude collect. <laughs> okay, don't know stuff about that, but anyway, so we're gonna move that up a little bit. Okay, we'll pretend we're flying just above it. So, that one. That one. So we've got a little bit of lightning. That seems about right. That looks better than it actually did with the storms. Uh, when I'm looking at my radar as well. So need to bring that talk back slightly. The only thing is, I'm sure the lightning came from the sky there. <laughs> That's not good. But we don't want a whole load of lightning, we just want a little, 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 little bit. So yeah, I'll have a look at that. Uh, let's have a look at, quick look at uh, FS2020 20, 20, 20 weather mods. Oops, mods. I love that flying in the cloud. I felt that in my peripheral vision. There you go. Interesting weather presets for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Allflightmods.com. Okay, let's have a look at this. So we can have. Ah, uh, see, look at this. This is cool. Yeah. Okay, I should have got this before. So you can get bitter cold, which looks beautiful. You can get tropical storm. Scattered Storms, which is the one that comes in the game, but I'm guessing this is a little bit of a better version of it. Foggy, but without uh, rain or anything, which is cool. Blizzard, which it currently has a blizzard, but it's not great. Scattered Showers, which is good. You want scattered showers sometimes. Uh, so, and, and so it went back. So what do we have? Okay, so... Ah, there's even more. So the presets... Uh, blizzard, lots of snow and wind, visibility is low. Fog, simple blanket of fog across the landscape. No gusts or anything, just f sit in fog, which I really like. Freezing rain, which is pretty cool. November flurry, scattered showers, scattered thunderstorms, scattered snow showers. Spring drizzle, misty rain. See, all of this is really cool stuff. Tropical storm. Insane rain, pretty bad wind, not hurricane level, but we'll give a light aircraft some trouble. Um, desert heat. Which is cool. And bitter cold. So, that is, that is really good. So, I will look to install that later on, because I think it just gives us... As well as the current presets, it gives us the option of looking at some others when we're... I mean, desert heat you will need in, in uh, when we're going across the Middle East, for sure. And in Phoenix. In Arizona. And probably in, like, Death Valley and stuff. But one of the reasons I'm actually not in a rush to get to the US now, as as I was kind of yesterday, is one of the things is people creating stuff. Because as people are creating stuff, they're going to fix... stuff's going to get fixed. Because there's a lot of things in, in, in the US that are currently a bit out of whack. Washington was a mess. Somebody's made an upgrade to it, and it is a really good upgrade, but the buildings don't blend. And... I just think it looks a bit iffy. The buildings themselves look amazing because they're handcrafted, but they don't blend. So I'm I'm liking this. Uh, so okay. so yeah, these extra, this extra, these extra weather things. I'm gonna have a look at this website because I don't. Uh, I don't think I've paid attention to this website before. Oh, they've got bush trips. I haven't really done a bush trip yet, actually. No, 
here's something. This is one Ella's gear, actually. If you haven't fallen back to sleep. It's, um... Voice attack. I haven't thought about using voice attack. So you instruct your co-pilot what to do. So I might have to set up a voice attack profile for this. There's a pushback helper. That's pretty cool. I need that sometimes. Let's see what else we've got here. Wow, somebody's doing lots of stuff for Scotland. I know that much. A uh, uh, oh no, that's just a repaint. Somebody's doing an Iceland overhaul. Iceland's a beautiful country. That'll be cool. Uh, castles all over the UK. That uh, US, uh, US Forest Service is pretty cool as well. All of these things are just... The work that's been put in is outstanding. It really is outstanding. Somebody's fixed one of the airports in France, which it really did need fixing because it was a bit of a mess. And it's a very well-known airport in France. Um, but you used to slide off the side of the hill when you were in your parking spot. So it looks like they've flattened it and fixed it. And just generally made it look better, put some proper buildings in there. Somebody's put Makefield in, uh, Makefield in Chicago, which isn't there anymore. But as a purist flight simmer, if you've been through all the flight sims, you know that that was absolutely part of the game before. And, you know, people might want to might wanna revisit that. I'm a bit more for realism, but... Uh, but I can understand why somebody would want that. Universal Studios Japan, elevation fixes in Norway. Like, there's just so much work being done. But I'd love, I'd love for these ones, for example, elevation stuff. I'd love for Microsoft to contact those people and say, hey, look, we're going to use your mod. We're going to put it into the code and you can download something for free off the market or something. Uh, I really think that they need to do to do something like that. Is that the same guy who did the other one? What's the date today? 26th. Oh, that was only uploaded yesterday. Why has that all been uploaded now? Or have they just nicked it? Let's see if it gives us... Uh, somebody was making... Somebody was making some scenery... Um, no, this might be somebody else. Huh. Somebody else looks like somebody else is doing my whole town. Or they've nicked it. I don't want to. I shouldn't say that live on stream because it might. I might be wrong, but no. Maybe it's. Maybe they are. Maybe they are trying to make a good version. I'll keep my eyes on that. This is some. <laughs> Shut up! I mean to get the work done. But, to be honest... Mm, yeah, to be honest, uh, the only thing with voice tech is I don't know how you get it to do certain things. Because it needs constant pressure on it. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look. Uh, custom Cessna... Newcastle Airport, somebody's done... Newcastle Airport enhancement, which is cool, because... I come from that area, so any uh, any kind of stuff in that area I love. Newcastle. Oh, somebody's actually made. Oh, it's a work in progress, but somebody's actually making Newcastle Airport. Fantastic. I'll definitely download that. Rotterdam. Somebody's making Rotterdam. Uh, Coca-Cola Dome. I don't know where that is. Some nice liveries. All this needs to be. They need to break all this up though, because it's. Um, 
it's too having the liveries next to areas in the download section is really not not the best way to do it. Oh, somebody some Portuguese football stadiums that would have come in handy when I was in Portugal. So you see how things are building up and we're missing out. Well, not missing out, but San Diego. Somebody's doing San Diego, you know. But obviously people are working hard and they're doing stuff and. Um, Hoover Dam's been done now, which is good, so we'll be visiting there when we go to um, Loftus Stadium. I'm trying to think where that is. Why don't I know where that is? It's not QPR. Can't be QPR. So look, uh the stadium. Oh no, it's in Pretoria. That's a strange name for a stadium. Um, Loftus is the town I come from in England. And it's a Viking word. So, I wonder why they have it in Pretoria. But anyway, maybe someone moved from Loftus to there, you never know. It's not beyond the realms. somebody with a longitude skin but as I said the longitude's broken so it's not really it's not really worth it 169 pages of mods already it's crazy and each page has about 20 mods on it actually it doesn't it has six I lied so 169 times six though pretty much Oh, Tenerife. Wow, because we had a good look around Tenerife as well, but this is what I mean. There's nothing you can do if people bring it out afterwards. Maybe I should have held off on this trip for a, on this trip for a year or something. Uh, I didn't want to, though. Okay, how are we doing? Yep, we're not far off. Okay, so we'll... Uh, let's have a look. Well, we're not we're not far off our next yeah we're, we're getting there now we're not far off our next uh, our next waypoint and once we hit that that's gonna be uh, going I, I'm guessing we're gonna be uh, going down to the airport to the approach how oh, somebody's doing a city in Sweden a lot actually Toronto's been improved. Just so much work going on here. It's great to see people doing it and coming together. It really is. This website's doing a good job of putting it all together, but it's, um... Oh, the the city of, I don't know how you say it, Tachukan, Tachukan, which is where the, uh, the temples from the, uh, from the, oh, my brain's dead. Somebody's fixed. A Mayan, a Mayan thing or something. The only thing I wish is that some people are not, uh, they're doing the Google thing, but then they're not they're not uh, they're not bringing down the colors so the places just stick out like a sore thumb on the map which is actually not bad when you're trying to find your way around because you can find stuff really really easily but it really sticks out like a sore thumb of the uh
Oh wow, they've got Grand Canyon National Park Airport. Somebody's built it. Oh, I'll definitely be landing there then. Take the icon out that day. How we? Romania. Yeah, it's just. I mean, I'm only on page 30 of 169. It's craziness. It's good though. I'm so happy that people are doing it. Um, the only thing is, whoever made this website really needs to start breaking everything up into sections because that is hellish to navigate. Doesn't even have a search function. Does it? Oh, it does. Oh, you proved me wrong. It does have a search function. It has a category function as well. Ooh, it's a reshade. Never thought about a reshade for this game. Uh, webcam track IR. Add on manager. Okay, so there's not a lot in there. There's not a lot in the tools section. Or oh, is that the add-on? Maybe that was the add-on. I think I meant to go to the tools section. No, that was where I was. Okay. Let's have another quick look. So Okay, so you can break it down to liveries, scenery and airports in particular. So that does help a little bit. Does help a little bit. Now I'm really pleased somebody's doing Newcastle. That's really cool that they're taking their time to do it. Right, we should be. We should be looking to start our descent in not too long. Um, yeah, when we hit Skaga, Skaga, SGA, actually it has a different name there. Hmm, I wonder why the name changed. Diskuk. Diskuk. And it's a bit of a shame we haven't got a lot of anything to really look at here because of the low clouds, so... Yeah. We can clear it away for a minute, can't we? Just put the live weather on so we have clear skies. It's a real pain in the ass, but uh, it is what it is. But as I said, it's all greenery now. It's all greenery. Put a bit of lightning on. So there is a bit of lightning according to the weather. if anything's come out on Google Play for this game yet actually you know because there's going to be a little bit of a run of stuff I'm sure Oh, it was 
Is that a website to help people? That's pretty cool. So there's even a website now which is just devoted to the developers so they can share information with each other. This is what I'm saying. This is really cool that um, that people want to help each other and that there's people setting websites up specifically for it. Um, it's so cool. And it's it means that stuff's going to come out and it's going to be free and we don't have to pay for it. Um, What's this one? Oh, is that a, it's actually a specific airport in Utah? I thought it was Utah in general. No, they're working on a in Logan. Okay, working on a specific airport in in uh, Utah. I was hoping that was a big Utah thing. That Salt Lake City is actually great in the game. I love it. I've flown over it and round it a few times because. I feel like I know it quite well, so I'm, I've really enjoyed that. Um, oh no! You are kidding me! The airport we landed in in the game last night, somebody's made a mod for it. And if I'd have known, I could have used the mod. Oh, and it's a great, great version of the airport. Christ on a stick. Oh, it's an amazing version of it. Wow. You know, it's a work in progress, to be honest. I couldn't have downloaded it if I'd have wanted to. That is one hell of a work in progress. Wow, but this is it. I mean, this way, eyes have got to be open every single day with this game. Because stuff's just getting made, you know, like this airport in Senegal, it was, I mean, it wasn't, it isn't a world famous airport, but somebody who lives in Senegal obviously thought, well, no, I'm going to make this airport, I'm going to make it as good as I can, and it, it's amazing what they've done to it. I wonder why. Even somebody here, somebody's made a bloody an instrument panel for the game, and then they they've made the software to make the instrument panel work. You gotta give people, you gotta give people credit, especially Simmers. This is why I think, like, when you make a game, you should allow it to be moddable instead of doing all this uh, cash grab stuff. People will pay for some things, but you should also make it moddable so that people can just add what they can. I think some games would really benefit from it. Work in progress. Long Island, New York. Photorealistic scenery. Um, yeah, somebody's done Glasgow today. So look at this Long Island one. Wow. Hang on, this can't be for Flight Simulator. Oh my good lord. Well, I don't know how they've done that. 
This looks like it's for FSX, not even FS2020, so when they... No, it must be... Well, I don't know. But they've done Long Island, but the houses all look 3D. Unless they've pulled the whole of Long Island off Google Maps or something. Wouldn't surprise me. It cripes how big that is. But, you know, again, if you VFR the area a lot, because it's close to where you live or whatever, you know... Right, let me just see what she was saying. I think we just got sent to another frequency there. Yeah, so we're continuing as planned. And we're not far off the, the waypoint now, I'm sure of it. Yeah, we're a couple of miles off. Um, and then we'll kind of make this turn. We'll, we'll start heading towards and then, you know, we'll probably... I don't know exactly when we're going to get... Same as similar to the last airport with this kind of step coming in. Um, it's a three-part step, so it, not four, so it goes left, right, 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 before putting you on final. So I was just looking at the, the fact that it kind of runs out before the airport, but I think that's just a glitch in the in the map when it does that. I don't think it's actually a big issue. Wow, look at all this, uh, these rain clouds, it's great. It's great. So if you've enjoyed the stream today, please do click, on, click that like button. It's very helpful. It's a bit quiet today. We were very, very busy last week, and then this, today it's been a bit quiet. Maybe the uh, the hullabaloo about this game is maybe wearing a bit, wearing off a little bit for some people. I'm not bored of it at all. Uh, flying at altitude here is it's not the greatest, but I mean, what am I going to do? Circ circumnavigating the globe. So, it's a bit much, but once we get into certain areas, it's not going to be as bad and there's going to be a lot to see. So, um, you know. Okay, this is Islamabad International Airport. I might go to, I might be flying past Islamabad, so. Uh, if they're making a an airport for Islamabad, I'll probably I'll probably land there. Wow, I mean, people are some they want to see some of this stuff. You know, you don't, and that's only the people who are being open about it. There's other people who are probably working behind the scenes a little bit just to just to release something. Um, See what are we off. We are what, 22 nautical miles from DISG when we'll make the right turn. DISG. I don't know why it doesn't always show. So the last one it showed was Archie, but Archie was Archie was back here, I think. Can't even remember which one Archie was now. It's a long way, a long time ago. I'll have a look in there. In the flight plan. Ah, yeah, there's buttons to go down. Okay. So... So, yeah, we've, we're going to SGA, and then SGA to Diap will be 229 nautical miles.
Okay, so we're approaching DISJ, so we'll make a slight turn to the right. Estimate time arrival DISG is 1 minute uh, 40 seconds. It's a distance of 10 nautical miles at the moment, more or less. Now 9. Get that information from here. So, estimated time of arrival and the distance to the marker. Now here it's saying estimated time of arrival 16.01, we're at uh, 3.19 at the moment, so my estimation is 40 minutes until we land. Um, but I love the fact I didn't know that you could see that, so estimate, and this will be based, I'm supposing, because it changes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be based on speed and stuff like that, so it will, it will differ slightly each time. probably change based around stuff but that's good because it may let you know if you're making time saving time um, I'd love to know an average flight time within the game so that you can kind of plan passenger stuff okay so see this is about there we go so we're gonna make our change now it's gonna start making the turn you can see it's already updated the next one and we're going to be a minute later now, so 4.02 is our expected arrival time I can actually I'll tell you why it's our expected arrival time, because our torque level has gone down and we can actually get a bit more out of the engine here probably a slight amount, more amount of speed maybe 2.10 Let's see. So we're making just a slight turn here. And I would expect ATC to start talking to us in a while, just asking us to uh, to start descending at some point. We are at like 30,000 feet here, so... I can't believe we haven't had uh, any... any ATC in so long. We've still got... yeah, we've still got frost on the wings... ice on the wings, sorry. D I'd love them to have a de-icing machine at the airport, so that'd be so cool. It really would. I hope they add stuff like that in the future, even if you have to pay a little bit for it. I'd rather play Microsoft for it, because they'll charge less than pay these other companies, because some of their th add-ons are ridiculously... ridiculously expensive. Um but they know that this community in general, the simming community, especially the people who have money, shall we say, uh, there's a lot of people in the simming community who have money, some of them fly anyway, um, but they like simming as well, uh, some of them have full A320 cockpits in their garage and stuff, and for those people, 50 euros here, 50 euros there. It's not, it's not big, it's not not big spend, but for your average player, it is. And it, and sometimes I feel, for myself and for other players, it's like you've got this kind of piece of cheese in front of you, but you you won't be able to get it. And I feel that it's a bit, I don't know, I don't like that. That's why I'm saying I, I would love it if uh, Microsoft. Um, update places, but they're going to probably sell you the airports, and I'd prefer it if they would like maybe have a subscription thing where you get the airport for free if you, if you subscribed to the simulator. But that's a pipe dream. 
Because everybody are kind of doing that at the moment, aren't they? Okay, so it's gone up by another minute. That's okay. We're just running a bit bit slow, I think. Um, I don't know why we're, why we're running slow, but we certainly are. We're doing a good 200, 200 per hour. Got a flash of light in there, I didn't notice that. Right, so... Okay, so we're not losing time now, so we're, we're at a good, uh, we're at a good pace. going to be like so uh ba -ba -bum. Ba -da 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 -dun -dun. where have we gone there we go Oops. so ivory coast oh this looks like quite a nice landing actually we'll be coming over the city of uh, Abidjan into the airport. I'm just trying to see where the runway is. I think it's a single runway by the looks of it. Yep, it's a single runway coming in from the north. So we're not actually coming over the city, I don't think, but we'll see the city uh, out of our right hand window as we're coming into land. We'll be coming into land over what looks like, I don't know whether you count that as a lake or just a really big river. It actually has an island there, which is, I'm guessing it's, uh, yeah, it's like a, a, where the richer people live, I think. So, Abidjan, it is, and we're about 32 minutes away. We're estimated arrival time, local time, I'm guessing. Oh no, I think it's, um... UTC, so I don't know, I've forgotten what UTC is now. I've forgotten what it means. But yeah. And it's going to be rainy. 
It's going to be rainy, so that's quite interesting. We don't have... Uh, we don't have auto brakes on this. So this is going to require me to actually use probably th reverse thrusters and brakes. Which I've never done before. So... I'm just kind of waiting for clearance to start descending. I thought I would have had it by now. We're only 30 minutes out and it, you know, that's a thousand p feet per minute so far. But we'll get it at some point. She'll come on. I think the first person who did the around the world trip actually did it in a Cessna. Which is mental. <coughs> I don't know if they've I don't know if they finished. So I don't think they streamed it, which they probably should have. Um, but jeez, you'd have to have some time on your hands, to be honest with you, to do it in a Cessna. Even if you want to see stuff, I mean, it's it's a Cessna. Now obviously with me being a bit of an, a mountain lover, we are going to be looking to visit certain mountains and stuff, so um, obviously Everest will be visited, K2, um, things like the Matterhorn, probably visit the Matterhorn, um, uh, loads of mountains in the US, too many to even mention, uh, be marking all them and, and visiting them, so... Can't wait to go to places like Seattle and take the a Acon out and have a fly around, you know, these, these uh, cities that have been really well modelled. I think Abu Dhabi is one of the close ones. Cape Town, I'll probably take the a Acon out over Cape Town as well. So there's certain cities where it's definitely going to be worth taking the Acon out, uh, uh, Icon out and flying it around. I think we might get descent instructions at 20 minutes or um, even 15 minutes. So if it's 15 minutes, it's easy to work out. It's about 2,300 feet per minute should get you down to your approach more or less in time. Now, our current ground speed is 331 knots. Now, here, here you go. So, I've just read that and I'm like, right. So, the speed of the plane when it says it's 330 knots is actually its speed. But they're talking about ground speed, not the airspeed. And normally, you wouldn't advertise the ground speed. You would advertise the airspeed. So, we are doing 331 knots. So, we are shifting a little bit. We're not, uh... So yeah, we're not far off now. We really aren't. DIYO, DIYO. So I'm guessing that is, let's see, Ivory Coast, DIYO. So that's going to be somewhere up around 
Yamasakuro would be my guess. Uh, yes, that's exactly where it is. Wow. You're not bad at this. So, Yamasakuro. So, it's a shame when there's actually a lake just below us here. Uh, so, Yamasakuro. So, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not a huge, 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 huge distance away here. Fair distance, but not, not huge. But, yeah, we must be getting, yeah, look, Yamasakuro, Yam, that'll be the marker for Yamasakuro. <laughs> So, um, yeah. I thought we'd have had clearance to come down by now. Start coming down anyway. She's no, she knows what she's doing. Can't wait to go down through this cloud. This is going to be so much fun. Because I have a feeling there's going to be a little bit of lightning, a bit of rain. Uh, wind speeds are not ridiculous. Plus, it's a tailwind. But the icing still hasn't come off. Or well, the ice hasn't, still hasn't come off. Even though I've got icing turned on, it just seems to keep it at bay. Doesn't seem to deal with it. Definitely took it off the windshield fast enough took it off the windshield almost immediately so so that's good so we are now what uh, 24 minutes away and still the expected arrival time is uh, 3 minutes past 4 local time I love that the fact that the, the moon is totally visible and pretty good resolution as well. See the tra see a tranquility there. I'm panicking about the descent, but to be honest with you, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's probably, what, if it was here? We're probably talking about the border to Barcelona, which, and, and I know you don't, you don't descend at the border, you descend just after it, so... But we're literally, I mean, we, we're trim, we've got the talk about 99%, can't get it to 100 because it doesn't let you, uh, it, it'll just go over. So I think we're about as fast as we're going to get. The outside temperatures do make a, a they, they do have an effect on how fast you actually cut through the air. So cold weather and hot weather actually affect how fast you are. I'm not knowledgeable enough to know, um exactly what conditions make it faster and why unfortunately folks I do my best but I'm just not that knowledgeable see, see it's just completely overcast of rain here so we're gonna have a a soggy arrival so we're gonna be passing Yamasakuro now uh, it has got its own airport by the looks of it. Oh no, or is that just a road? Can't be just a road, can it? Oh, it could be. No. Yeah? No, I don't know. Uh, can't, can't understand why on this one I can't have a satellite version. Right, okay, so that can go. Yeah, I'm secure. Does it have an airport? A quick look. A 
Legolf. Uh, a Basilica, Habitat, Residencia. Uh, it doesn't look like it has an airport. It's a pr pretty big city, but I'm guessing it doesn't need an airport. Ah, it's got a dirt airport south of it. Spotted that easy now. Getting better at that. But yeah, it's not a long way from the destination. It really isn't. Well, actually it is when you're zoomed in. Unless I've gone in the wrong way. I might have gone the wrong way, wrong way there, actually. Oh, now I'm totally lost. No, I'm not. There we go. So you're coming over the island, there's the there's the airport. Okay, so it's run one runway. <laughs> okay, twenty minutes we should be touching down. Our estimated time of arrival is exactly the same as it was before, so we're not losing anything now. We're slightly slightly losing time before, but I think that once we got uh, once we got that talk back up, it's it stopped it from dropping. So that's the only thing about this this plane is you really have to keep an eye on the engine almost all the time because if you don't, it it, it got you know when you're climbing, the talk goes up, so you have to pull it back. When you're descending. Uh, I don't know if it, when you're descending if the torque goes, but uh, and when you're flat level, it drops off, so you have to push it back up again. So it's the, it's the only downside to this aircraft that it does not have uh, any speed hold or anything. Here it has an SPD button, but it just um, switches to Mac. So in this, I don't know whether it's worth it. In this aeroplane to be switching into max speed to look at it. I don't think it's going to do you any, any favours. So you see this turns our circuit breakers on over here so we can see if we need to fix anything. It's pretty good. Scared or anything? But I really thought we'd have had our descent. <laughs> I really thought we'd have had our descent by now. I really did. I'm now having to start working on whether we'll be we'll be dropping it. Yeah, if if this goes for another three minutes, then we'll be having to drop about two thousand three hundred feet per minute if I'm about right because I'm sure in our last airport we, we, we were descending around now I go to the loo either. I'm desperate to go to the loo. And I can't go. And my tea's running thin. Oh! Brian, I'm sorry, my chat. I didn't see my chat properly. Hello Blendy if you're still there. I'm sorry anybody who's been talking to me. I don't know what's wrong with the chat today, but I'm not seeing it properly. Um I'm really sorry about that. So so Brian's been talking, Blendy's been talking, I don't know if you're still there, Blendy. Okay. 
folks. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Sorry about that. I, d I really didn't notice. So, vertical speed, we're going to go down to about 2,300. Okay, what did she say? It's 24,000. 240. 230. Okay. 230. Okay, so coordinated universe has used to be called Greenwich Mean Tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I thought it was that, but it can't be Greenwich Mean Time because it's not four o'clock in the UK, and this is live. So I don't know what the issue is with it. Oh, we're making a bit of time now. We've now gone down to six o two. So. So sorry about that. I have no idea why it's not showing chat properly anywhere. It seems to work for a minute and then it stops, but it picks up on the other. Um, it's really strange. Really, really strange. I have no idea why it's doing it like this. So I apologise to anybody. I'm not. Um, I'm not ignoring anybody on purpose. playing Min Minecraft. Oh. Oh. Maybe pull back a little bit too much there. Yeah, but here it's in 402 UTC. And as you can see, the, it's live. Ah, oh, it's, it's at 3.45. So, I don't know. I don't know. But we're heading down into the rain now. So we should be breaking into these clouds soon. The rain might wash off a bit of this ice, actually. Might do. I don't know why the hell my chat wasn't updating. It's very, very strange. Oh, I had to get that up. This is now she's saying five. That I'm gonna have to pull right back on the. Uh, I think they've given us the approach way too late. I really do. Yeah, she's calling him in straight off the bat, and uh, I said she was calling it really late. I don't understand why she calls. She's she's calling it so late. I've actually now pulled right back on the on the speed and hoping that we can. Uh, Really hoping we can shave off some of this speed because otherwise we're not going to get down to. Uh, I can kind of see the airport in the distance. We haven't made the turn yet, thank God. Um, what? Because when we make this turn down here, we might make it, but when we make this turns here, we're going to be coming in on final. So really, if the plane gets to here, and I'm not at a good point. I'm going to start panicking. Well, let's see how we do, eh? Let's see how we do. We might... we might do it. We might do it. But she just seemed to call us down very, very quickly there. But we have lost 10,000 feet already. So maybe I'm panicking over nothing. I'm going to keep us around 220 if possible. I'm not going to... I'm not going to try and lose too much speed, but... Oh, look 
at this. Oh, look at this. I'm loving this. I am loving this. Right. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll get down to um I think we'll get down in time. Yeah, we've not even appeared here and we're at what, nineteen thousand, so we're definitely gonna get down in time. I don't even know if we should actually speed back up. Cause we, oh yeah, because we're actually losing time now. I was on a hundred for a second there. Okay, so we're just popping in now and we are at 17,000. So I think we're going to be okay. The windows are icing up a bit, so we'll uh, we'll stick the window de-icer on again. You should see this kind of dissipate now. Yeah, there you go. Goes off quite quickly actually. We're building up a bit on the wings, but that's semi-understandable. Yeah, we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be fine. I really do. Nine times two is eighteen. Plus three. Eighteen. Yeah, we should definitely be down on time for this. Two point two and a half uh two two thousand three hundred feet a second is probably is probably about right. Okay, we're making time again, thankfully. Okay, but we are over speeding now, as you can see. So I'm just gonna pull back a little bit on the I say we're overspeeding a little bit. We're actually this is the fastest we've got in the whole flight. But uh yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Cloud level there and then the cloud level again we're gonna go through which will probably be the rain cloud. Okay, so we're now at 12,000 feet, we've got just 10,000 feet to go, and we've gone like a little bit into this, so we should be okay. I think we're going to get down to the flight level okay, so... If we're punching in a little bit, we're punching in a little bit, I don't mind. Still expected arrival time, 16.03, so... Don't forget to put myself down in my seat a little bit, just so I'm in the spot that I like. Uh, slightly. No, that's too much. Can never get it quite right. Mm, there we go. That's about right. The reason I like this because you can zoom in like this just a little bit, and this is basically the nose, so you can judge roughly where it is. Chewy, yeah. Oh, I think I think we. Uh, I think I think. Uh, I think we lost Blendy because I didn't say hello in time. Never mind. I feel bad when that happens because you're not you're not being a rude. You're not being rude or anything. Not me anyway. Okay, so we're definitely going to make it down in time. We're at nine at the moment. I might actually bring that up a little bit now. Uh, increase. Okay, so what's it at now? Thousand feet a minute. Okay, yep. Yep, 
No, actually, a thousand feet wouldn't be good. We need it higher than that. I'll go to the two thousand. Kind of don't want to come down too early, but I don't want to come down too late. You know, we've got now. Wait, see what the arrival time is now. It's back up to six o four. Seven minutes away. Well, what we can do actually is when we get down to 7,000 feet, I'll, I'll knock it down a little bit. So what's it at the moment? 1,900, okay. Okay, so we've got 1,500 now, so at least we're still we're still getting down. We want to be down to about 2,000 when we're here in Lumkey, so we will be. And that's why I was kind of saying I didn't want to arrive late, because I think that's going to go up to 16, 1604 now. But it's that's kind of like work, how you try and measure out the distances, but I'm not, I haven't been doing this long enough to get it perfect, so... But we're probably going to get to 2,000 a little bit earlier. We're probably going to get to it around here. And then we'll have to travel this out at 2,000, which is not the perfect situation. I do like this view. And we should be getting a bit of rain now on the uh, on the old dashboard, on the old dashboard, on the old windscreen. A little bit of rain. There we go. <laughs> Might wash it off a bit, might wash a bit of this ice off now. Now we're at the real low levels. I thought the icing might have kicked in and got rid of it. Uh, I really did. Put the ice light on. Right, we are below 10,000 now, so we can put on our landing lights. We're actually way below 10,000, should have put them on earlier. But, uh. Unfortunately, the landing lights in this uh, plane aren't that strong. You know, it's on like something like an A320, the landing lights are great. Because they're so strong. So you kind of see the rain going through them, it's cool. Okay, that was enough rain. I'm guessing. Up back into the rain again. Okay, and we're coming into a bit of a clearing here. Oh, look at the rainbow! Ah, it disappeared as quick as it came in. So, see how we're a little bit too low now. And we've still got a fair whack to go. We've got to get on to the final. But, to be honest with you, we're prepared. So, I'm going in and out of rain, so I don't mind. Whack the engines up a little bit. You know what? I've got time to go for a quick wee wee. I'll be two seconds. Don't let me die.
You're missing the best part, Brian. What happened? <laughs> Don't forget your mask. You're missing the landing. That's what we're that's what we're here for, isn't it? That's nice. That is nice. Now we are going pretty fast. I'm going to be honest, but we'll uh, we'll bleed that off. We'll bleed that off in a couple of seconds. Well, in a couple of minutes, actually. So we know what the weather is. So we're going to go on to map now, just so we can zoom in a little bit, because we really want to keep an eye on uh, where we are and what we're doing. I hope to God that's not a hill in front of us. I don't think it is, but we we are pretty low here. Oh, there's another rainbow over there. Oh, they disappear really quickly because the angle you're at. But uh, yeah, we could have come down. We could have come down a little bit slower, to be honest. I'm not like thoroughly disappointed, but it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, now technically, I don't, I don't know whether we would get clearance to land at this airport if the weather keeps like this because we can't see anything. But I'm going to try and bring her down nonetheless. So we'll see how that pans out. I don't know if Microsoft actually kind of uh, programmed the game to maybe clear up a little bit around the airports just just for your benefit as a player to be able to see what your surroundings are but we'll certainly find out the icing's gone I should have actually had it pointed at the wing it's gone off the windows as well so we can probably turn every all the icing off because I'm supposing that it's not necessary so we're going to start making our turn so we're going to bring ourselves down to 220 Around 220. So we'll bleed off a little bit of this uh, speed here. I love that map that you guys can see, by the way. I really do. I don't know whether to actually zoom in a little bit more or not, so. Um, I don't know. Feedback would be appreciated. I love the low-lying cloud here as well. This is this is pretty pretty cool. Hey, Malcolm, you've just come at the right point. Just about to land, my good man. It is. It's. Uh, we are in Nigeria. We're gonna come into land pretty soon. In effectual Algamar Niner, seven you are one three miles north of Audi John. Contact Audi John Tower on one one eight decimal one when inbound on the approach. Tower on one one eight decimal one ineffectual gamer niner seven. Audi John Tower ineffectual gamer niner seven one three miles north inbound localizer Zulu runway two one approach. Ineffectual Algamar Niner 7, Audi John Tower. Cleared localizer Zulu runway 2 1 approach. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 2 wind 276 at 17. Cleared localizer Zulu runway 2 1 approach. Ineffectual Gamer Niner 7. Okay, gear down. I'm looking at this here. Looking for three green. Okay, we've got three green. And we're going to go flaps one. Flaps one.
would <laughs> Would you do that? I never thought you were that type of person that would do something like that, Malcolm. Right, so let's get ready for landing. Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready for landing. Now we are quite a lot lower than the approach window, I think. I can't tell if we're lower or it's just because of the clouds that it seems lower. I see the end of the runway, I can see the lights, the leading lights, so... I'm guessing they do. They they have done what I thought they would do, which is when you're coming into land, they just clear it up a little bit, just so you're not gonna <laughs> crash into the ground. And I think it's important that they do that because it's. I, I I wouldn't mind coming in with a little bit more rain, to be honest. I'm not wholly against it. All right. Thanks very much, love. Right. So we're gonna get our. Everything is set. So we have a massive crosswind here. So this uh, the uh, the plane is actually it's crabbing. Okay, so I'm gonna get the speed down. We're gonna set that, and we are going to turn off the autopilot. Okay, we're passing the 2200 mark. This is going to be very interesting. I have never had to crab in like this in these conditions. This would be non landing conditions in reality. Just, you cannot land in these conditions in reality. Well, now it's clearing, so yes, you can. But I've never done a crab landing in this one yet. I've done it in FSX. I've done it in FSX, but I've never done it in this one. And I don't care if I'm coming in too fast. I really don't. Because this is frightening for me. This is really not easy when you're doing this. Um, you've got to use your, your, your rudder to steer you away. And then kind of towards. And it is really not easy. At all. Whoa. See, I'm not. St I don't mind trying this though. This is actually, I'm actually enjoying this. I truly, truly am. It's really weird though. Really, really weird. I'm gonna try and get it down to 85 now, just on the, on the final approach. Lead off that last last little bit of speed. Whoa. Turn on the reverse thrusters. Okay. That was good. I'm gonna watch that back later. That felt really good. That felt really, really good. Wow. That <laughs> felt so good. I really, really enjoyed that. Oh, but he's concentrating so much that on the on the touchdown point that you don't see the whole picture. I'm gonna watch that back afterwards. Ineffectual, 
That was really satisfying. Really, really satisfying. Okay, so uh, did I get the taxi to parking? Okay, yep. Yeah. That was really satisfying. I don't think I've had a landing where I felt more pleased with it. I really don't. That rain's moving over now. I think the only thing that'll beat that feeling is when I f eventually land a, a Cessna Citation or a or an A320 perfectly I know mate I'm just trying to get her on the line that's all I like how he's a bit off centre here actually what? okay parking brakes on engine shut down Master warning that. Uh, turn that down. Mm -mm. Ignition can go off. That can go off. That can go off. Master warning that can go off. What? I don't know whether you shut down whether it normally gives you these warnings because these warnings only happen when the. when the. Before takeoff, not after landing. So, <laughs> I so it's just started raining again, which is really nice. ASMR. No, actually, that sound of rain inside the cockpit—that that that kind of is ASMR. I could sleep with that sound. Maybe not with the thunder and lightning, but definitely with the rain. Um, and then... They've put me off what I was thinking now. Oh, not the panel lighting. Not yet. Well, turn off camera like that. But I think all of that part's done. Just the main generator down. I kind of don't want to finish it. I just want to sit here. I don't want to get out into the cold. No, listen, that was good. I really enjoyed that. And crash bad down. Whew. That was so much fun. I'm going to go back and watch that, and I'm going to enjoy watching that, because that felt really good. So that was a flight time of 2 hours 11 minutes. And, um... I think what was the estimated flight time was two hour fifteen or something. So I'm three minutes ahead of time. I think it was two hours. Two hours fifteen. Let's go back to the start menu. I'm just gonna have a look through my stats now because I haven't really looked at my stats properly. Now, oh. now admittedly, the approach, the approach beacons are still helping me. They're helping me judge certain things but I noticed on that landing about halfway down the tunnel I stopped even looking at that 
there was times when it was saying fast slow. I didn't care because I was too busy concentrating on my speed and my because uh, I needed to keep the speed up just in case there was a gust of wind that dropped me so um, but I was feeling much more secure there without it the only thing that's making me feel a bit insecure at the moment truth be told is the fact that it brings you down to 2200 and the actual approach window is below you so I'm not sure if that's bad programming by Asobo Studios whether they've just programmed it a little bit lower than it should be or whether it's just to kind of as soon as you see it in front of you and you're at 2200 you just turn off the autopilot and take it in yourself I don't know I don't know and I wanted to fly an approach on that but I don't I don't actually think the approach was there again I'll have to have a look I can look on the replay but I'm not too I'm not too sure if it was there so I've now accumulated 55 hours and you can see the lowest altitude flown was 3 meters Uh, minimum distance to the ground without hit. I don't know what that means. Minimum distance to ground without hit whilst flying upside down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, number of touch and go landings requested. None. Okay. Maximum fly time without stall. Without a stall? A long time. I don't think I've stalled. Actually, I got a stall warning earlier, actually. So, no, I didn't. To total number of times recovered from a stall. Nine. Yeah. So that was when I was practicing originally taking, no, originally landing actually. Total distance flown in meters, 10 million. Uh, let's see, let's see the really important ones. Number of different airports landed at 10. That's absolute balls. I've landed at loads more than 10. In this stream, I've landed at more than 10. Uh, number of land fail lands or crashes too. Yeah, that was when I was uh, work working in the Cessna Citation. Total flight time with with autopilot engaged a lot. Without autopilot engaged quite a lot. Uh, successful takeoffs twenty six. Total flight time blah blah blah. Okay, so what badges do I have? None. Or is there actually badges? Let's see what my achievements are. Okay, that's not really a big one. Mother Nature, customize the weather during the flight. Okay, I've done that yet. Start me up yet. Yeah, manually start the manually start the Airbus A320 engines without using assistance. Yes, I did do that. I used my little book. Uh, I think there was something I left off, but it, it wasn't... The, the, the game didn't care. Request landing clearance from ATC at Towered Airport without using ATC assistance. Request landing. Without using ATC assistance. I don't know. I wonder if that's not asking for distance to the airport. I can't remember trying to, to beat that one. Wheels up, wheels down. Complete non stop flight for at least 300 miles from takeoff to land. Yeah, definitely done that. Look, my you, no hands used to hide autopilot for a total of 600 miles. Yeah. Light chop, done that. On the green, stay on target. You Done an ILS lap. Complete ILS landing. Yep. Done that. Land on the grass runway without using any assistance. Pretty fucking sure I've done that three or four times. Pardon my French. Dead stick landing. Yep. Done that. I've actually done that more than once. After receiving landing closer, switch off engines, engines and land successfully on a runway. On the icon, I think I've done that th two or three times. Because you can do it on the icon. You can switch off the engine and glide it in. Um... Complete a weekly activity. Yeah, I've done that. Short stuff. Land on a runway shot than 2,000 feet. Yes, I did that in uh, La Seu de Gel. I did it in a big plane as well, funnily enough. Uh, pilot program. Accumulate 50, 50 hours of flight time. Single pilot profile. Yeah, obviously done that. Uh, what's that one? Greased. Complete every landing challenge. No, I, I have... I have so far, I think. Ah, but maybe, it, maybe it's because they keep going. Accumulate. What was that hydroplaning one? Accumulate 50 hours of flight time in rainy weather. Oh, 44% complete. That means I've done like 20, what, 23, 24. Complete flight for at least 300 miles using a prop jet and airliner. Done that. Uh, Century Club accumulate 100 hours. Okay, so I'm getting up to that. Night owl. 
11%. Instrumental, accumulate 50 hours, IFR, flight time, 51%. I'm not surprised I'm at 51% there. Uh, completionist, no. Sids and Sars, land at 20. Star Airport, shown on the world map. Alright, okay, I've done 8% of that. That'll probably, I'll probably pass that by the end of this whole thing. Use the smart cam to view 100 star landmarks. I've noticed some uh, some landmarks and some points appearing in the game actually now, so I'm not sure if if it's a Sobo adding to them or somehow they've seen where people have marked. I'm not sure what it is. Land successfully at 500 different airports, currently at 2%, uh, which is actually quite a lot. That would mean I've landed at over 50 different airports. No? So far? No. Oh, can't be asked with the maths. Uh, complete 300, 300 plus mile flight with every aircraft in the standard edition. All right, that probably won't be going. I probably won't be doing that. Journeyman, company. Okay, yeah, that's possible. No badges yet, though. That's a bit sad. Hopefully, I'll get some badges as we go along. Logbook. Uh, okay, so it just has all my different flights there. It's quite good, the logbook, though, that it actually has it in. Yeah, see. How's he doing the citation stuff? But that was oh no, that was the that was early flight that. Okay, yeah, this is uh, me earlier doing it. It's actually it's not registered. Ah, because I didn't land. Okay, I landed in that one. Case I'll see. That was technically a crash though. I don't know if it went down as a crash or not. But I did a couple of others as well, but. Yeah, I was going to say that no flight time in that because I was just starting it up and shutting it down. I was just trying to work out how to start up and shut that, that plane down. Right, children. I'm going to call it an evening. I want to thank you all for joining in, but I've been, what, three? Four and a half hours. Today did, what, four and a half hours, five hours last night. Um, getting a bit weary now. So... This will probably this will probably be more of a Friday night, Saturday afternoon thing now. Any other streams that I do are probably going to be other games and stuff. Or what I might start doing is one day will be this, but we're gonna I'm gonna have to work out how I'm gonna do that because otherwise it's gonna take me forever to get around the world. Um, but I'm also gonna have this series of uh, passenger flights coming up, which I'm quite looking forward to because it will allow me to bop around cities in different airplanes and stuff it won't just be specific things every time and it will probably be on the model cities or the 3d models inclusive of the 3d model cities and stuff with kind of a bit of backstory of what I'm doing it for uh, so yeah there'll be that and then I'm gonna try and stream some other games at the same time because I said before that I don't want to get stuck on just one game it has to be a little bit um, a little bit different with each thing. Okay, so I'm running out of words because I've run out of my vocabulary bank now. I have to go back to normality. Okay, so I wish everybody a, a good Saturday night. If you've got the game, play a little bit of it yourself. I hope I've uh, I've made you want to pick up those sticks and get it in the air. That sounded really weird. Okay, people, 9-7, Captain Swifty. See you later. <laughs>